This is the Kind of Funny Games cast. Each and every week, we get together right here on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games to talk about all the things we love about video games. It's a great time. We talk about what we're playing. We talk about the topic of the show. It's a whole fun thing that you can be a part of. If you want it on podcast services, guess what? It's available around the globe. All of your favorite podcast services. That includes iTunes, Beyond Pod, Stitcher, TuneIn. Uh, I'm, out of, I'm out of them. But there's and for more the of first them. time ever, Spot. Oh, no. No, not still Spotify. not Spotify. No, still not Spotify. <laughs> uh, hopefully, they'll figure that out one day. Google Play. Yeah, you were telling there. me somebody's threatening to buy Spotify that could solve the. Or, no, somebody's threatening to buy SoundCloud. Spotify's trying to buy SoundCloud. That would solve all our problems. Well, you you want to hope. I don't know. That it is, it's, it, you want to hope. It would. It would. <laughs> the other option is it fucks us entirely and we don't have a place to upload what podcasts. What do you anymore. mean? No way. <laughs> we'll we get we get it back on the Libsyn train like we were at IGN. Yeah, yeah. We, that's an option. Um, But, anyways, if you want to support us in case things go horribly, horribly wrong, you you can go to patreon.com slash kind of funny games. Get the show a w- couple days early. Uh, I was going to say a week, but that's the Game Over Greggy show. This show, you get it on Friday early, which is the day after we record it because we record on Thursdays, where you can watch live for just $1 on Patreon. <gasps> or else you have to wait a couple days, get it on Monday, Friday. and then it's old fucking news. Yeah. It's old news. You can get on, on Friday, too. Still get early. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, I was working backwards from the, the, the Patreon it's, stuff. Sure. Now jumping ahead to the YouTube stuff where it's free for the peasants, Craig. Yeah, you fucking heard me. Wow. 2018, New Year, New Tim. Is new just Year, Tim, New Tim. Tim is going for knees. Life. He's just going for knees now. He doesn't care. He's, he's done trying to win you over with honey. Now you're going to get the vinegar from his wiener. What people only saw in, in the pre-show. 2018, man. Because again, more. Patreon supporters, get a pre-show if you're watching live or if you're watching the video VOD later. I had a, a horrible injury. Leading into the it show, bad. I'm, I'm um, surprised you're able to shake it off and come back in here. You're gonna have to to watch to get the pre-show to find out what happened to me. But Again, that's, vinegar that's wiener. the reason I'm so angry right now. And you're not gonna like me when I'm angry. I feel. Do I have headphone hair? Because I feel like I'm getting weird. Yeah, weird. There's like levels to my hair or something. That oh, happened. I got it. Kevin, come fix me. You look like Rogue on camera because the lighting. <laughs> It's That's just, just making it worse. I'm making it worse. Yeah. Well, it didn't. It it doesn't flow as nicely as I thought it would. It's just hmm. there's a clump. There's just right too here. much. There's too much hair. Yeah, too clumpy, Greg. You're clumpy. This episode, <laughs> Patreon producer Tom Bach. Thank you very much. Tom, Tom Bach, Bach what making, up? The homies. Making, they making say. things happen. So, Greg, what happened was uh, going into the new year, we recorded a bunch of episodes. One of them was our predictions for 2018, which we thought was going to be one episode. One episode. We'll talk where about everything. We, we're going to talk about every every game with the release date. We know the sure. things, the questions we have, all that stuff. We ended up only getting through PlayStation because PlayStation had a lot to talk about. Sure. In addition, to the games we've been playing and all that stuff. Um, a lot of people were like, "Oh, you didn't mention Monster Hunter World," and I found out the reason I didn't do that is because that's in my third party multi platform section. Oh, it's right there at the top. There it is. Yeah. Right there at the top. So that's why that happened. You weren't trying. Trying to ruin this game. Exactly. You just were trying exactly. to ruin this game by accident. Um, so what this episode's going to be, we're going to start off talking about just the games we've been playing recently. Which is what and we do here on the Kind of Funny Games Cast, Games each and every third Friday. Uh, then we're going to get into our predictions for Microsoft and Nintendo, and then the third-party multi-platform don't games. Even, don't even hang the third-party stuff on us. If we get there, we get there. If we get there, we get there. Again, then if not, that's another episode. We did that in that time capsule way back in 2017. It went live as landmines do. And then we did Game of the Year when we came back because we were like that. And I, and I had this paper still on my desk. And I was mm-hmm. like, I think we have to get back to this. Yeah. And then we kind of you. I totally forgot. You say you forgot, but we wouldn't have done it last week. We needed to get Game of the Year done. Yeah. 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 And plus you wanted me to w- wait for me to break out these pants. Oh, my with God. The oh, again, the fan. Oh God, it's so high. Right. I'm telling you. People think I got no extension. Now, granted, the knees bent as I come Has up. Has anyone ever claimed you don't have extension? That I don't? Yeah, well, it's because a lot of people don't believe me. Because one of the big things I talk about a lot, this is, and by the way, sorry for the audio listeners at home, this is pretty much just a visual bit, is that I feel like with enough time, I feel like with enough time, every time, I could do the Undertaker boot and like get you right in the face. Because mm-hmm. you're a tall guy, but yeah. stand up. I could, I could, I won't, I won't under, but if you were coming at me off the ropes, I feel like, oh see, God. I can get it up there. I can get it up there, right? Just like Taker could. Undertaker, <laughs> number one. <laughs> so what you been playing, Greg? You know what? Lay it on me, dude. A lot, because we haven't. Last week we didn't talk about the things I played over break, mm-hmm. and I played a lot of stuff over break. I won't bore you with the details. I feel like con- on one of the kind of funny games daily, I had to have talked about this at some point. But I did b- bust out my psnprofiles.com slash game over Greggy. Yes, I'm a paid member. You can come here, check my trophies as they get updated. <sighs> I platinumed a lot of stuff. I went on a bit of a platinum run while we were gone. So shout out to Valhalla. 
Valhalla, however mm-hmm. you want to pronounce it. But that game, the bartend, cyberpunk bartending simulator thing or whatever. Not familiar. I talked about it years ago when I ran into it at a PAX because it is you sitting there and mixing drinks for people and giving it to them, which is a fun gameplay mechanic, period. This is like a visual novel, though. So, or not even a visual novel. It's, it's, it's yeah, overcooked a visual novel? No, because the it's... I wish the making the drink was more of the game. It's a great game. It tells an interesting story. You're a bartender. People come to your bar. You meet them. You talk to them. Like, you know, characters. If this game didn't have a platinum, would you have played it? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. This okay. didn't have anything to do with the platinum. Good. It, this this is the way platinum should go for a normal person or if I was a normal person where I played the game. I, I had seen it packs. I said, that looks awesome. Got the game, played the game. I was like, I really enjoy this game. Looked at the trophy list finally. I was like, oh, huh, you know what? And then sure enough, I spent Christmas break in a cabin in Vermont getting this platinum. Good story. Could have gone for more of a focus on the bartending, but that really wasn't what it's about. It is about like being a bartender and talking to people. The game did, I would assume, what it wanted me to do, where I thought about, man, life as a bartender would be pretty cool. I could be a good bartender. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? If I remembered how to make drinks and stuff. Yeah. But just talking to people, that sounds like fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That sounds like a good time to get. But once I got that, then it was like, hmm, man, I just knocked out a platinum. I got my Vita with me. I only brought the Vita while I had the Switch, but I only played the Vita on Christmas break because mm. I was traveling so much. Uh, I also played uh, Xenon Valkyrie Plus, which had just come out. wasn't for me, but it's a cute little game. It's not cute. It's a pretty game of you platforming. I think it's got roguelike elements to it, but I really didn't get enough time to get into it. Played Papers, Please for a while. Finally made its way over to Vita. Well, that's exciting. Played through it. It's as good as it was on PC, which mm-hmm. I know a lot of people loved. It never super clicked for me, but I was happy to finally have it on Vita. Uh, I played Shoe again on Vita. You remember this yeah. thing? It had come to PlayStation 4, then finally come on a PlayStation Vita, but the windows didn't line up for me. And this is the time where I was like, I'm only playing Vita stuff. I'm getting trophies. Uh, still a great little thing, but the problem I have with shoe is what I feel like I have a lot of with the uh, collectathons now of like, well, yeah, this is fun, but I should be playing Mario. Yeah. Mario's right there. Right, I should I be going to get moons. I'm not going to bother. Them. But anyways, I had the taste of the platinum. You know how it is. Once you get a little bit on you, mm-hmm. you, you give it all. Get nom, it nom, 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 nom. Like strippers. Yeah. So I had it for Valhalla. And I was like, I know I'm going to come home to the final episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Mm. I'm going to get a platinum there. I'm like, how many can I ding up right now? Of course, as you remember, the one of the worst platinum games out there on PlayStation 4, Energy Cycle. Mm. Worst which, platinum games? One of the worst. Undeniably Ninja Turtles. Thank you. Thank you, you very much. Manhattan. I see where you're going with that one. I see where you're going with that. Uh, Energy Cycle had come to PlayStation 4 a while, and when I had fallen off the wagon a long time ago and did like four terrible Platinums in a row, Mr. Massage and that thing. Uh, it's now on Vita, has a separate trophy list. You're goddamn right I bought that one. I gave him another fourteen ninety nine or whatever the fuck it was. Got it, sat there, Platinum that. Then, uh, now this is another thing of my interests aligning in a good way, where Burly Men at Sea, do you remember when this got announced at a PSX no, or whatever? It had popped up. It's a mobile game. It had won like Time Magazine's Game of the Year for whatever year it was. And it's this... Game of the Year or Mobile Game of the Year? I guess mobile game of the year. We'll say mobile game okay. of the year. You know, you know what I mean? Kevin, give me a check on what Time Magazine gave an award to for... What? It's one... Are you trying to do every game I say? Yeah, that's what Tim said. Don't listen to Tim. He never checks the time codes. Uh, went through and played this. It's another narrative-driven, you know, you make choices in the game, and then it branches off and does all these things. It was fun. It was cute. And then at the end, I was like, what's Platinum look like on this thing? And I was like, oh, this is fucking Platinum Burley Menacee. And then I went home and I did Life is Strange Before the Storm. Now, I feel... Someone asked me the other day on Twitter if I had done a spoiler cast for this, and I said no. Mm. What I had said uh, recently when we were doing something in Games Daily, I assume, was it you or Andrea, where I was talking about... Uh, oh, no, it was us last week on Games Our Game of the Year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, oh, if, you know, strange they up. make some weird changes in yeah. the, the episode three, which I didn't really like. And so... I don't know if we should do spoiler section of it, and I should tap my head. I don't know if people are waiting out there for Life is Strange episode three. What, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to handle my complaints with it? I mean, you you know the game better than I do, so don't ruin it for people. Whatever you think's the best. Okay, then I'll just leave it at where it was with Gamescast, and you can always I'll make a Twitter video for somebody if any. If you want me, say hey, what do you like about Life is Strange before the storm? I'll make you a Twitter video. But yeah, it makes a bunch of weird choices at the end that like go from oh, this has been a normal teen story to what the fuck is happening? Oh mm, god, it's crazy. The Uncharted effect. Yeah, exactly the Uncharted effect. But overall, still love that game. Platinum it to that. Uh, Big Kev Dog and I played a whole bunch of GTA Online. Woo! I'll tell you what, that is a. a, a, a complicated game it's yeah. a, a bit uh, over 
I overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You jump in there and it's overwhelming. And I was trying to explain it today with Andrea again, where I was talking to her about it, and she was like, "Well, no, it's just GTA." I'm like, "No, no, no. The mechanics I get, yes. It's the menu systems. It's trying to figure out how to fucking get this that stock. How do how do I get the how you have this? It's just like a, is it, it, the problem I have with GTA. Uh, GTA Online is a lot of fun. Kevin and I are never going to play enough of it to get the fucking DeLorean and to do all this different stuff. Because we would have to play it every night nonstop, and it's so hard for us to play games together. Still. I got Jeff Ramsey on my fucking guest room, and I can't come home and play GTA. No, he doesn't know anything about GTA. After the advice of a young Timothy Geddes, it's me. I popped in Injustice 2 and said, it's oh, finally time, yeah. and I jumped into it. Uh -huh. And man, do I fucking hate fighting games. Really? I, just, I couldn't even do it this year. I couldn't even do really? it. Really? Yeah. Couldn't oh even do god. it. Oh my god. Oh, that hurts me. I know. Injustice 2, uh, the only game, new game that I beat during the break. Yeah. I think that's right. Uh, man, I had such a great time with it to put it on my top 10 list of the, of the year. I love fighting games. I'm not good at fighting games, yeah. but I enjoy playing them. Uh, there's something about fighting games, racing games that I'm just like, uh, specifically like arcade racing games. I can't really get into the simulation stuff because sure. that's way too much for me. Um, but I'm like, if they're, if they're simple enough that like you, I can wrap my head around it. I'm not doing all the crazy fancy stuff, yeah. but it's just fun to, fun to go through. And I feel I, like Injustice did a good job of having it be simple enough. Well, I, I feel like Mortal Kombat intimidates me. I don't know why, um, but it always has. And uh, Injustice 2, I feel like they did a good job of like giving don't me, me what I needed to d know and it was, all the tools I needed to have It was fun. very much, see, I just wasn't having fun. I was mm. beating them. I was winning the matches to move on. There's only one I think I needed to restart or whatever, but it just got to that point of, all right, like, First off, I'm playing this and I'm thinking, man, I should really just go read the Injustice comic. Not that mm. this is bad, just that I love Tom Taylor and I do love the Injustice yeah. comic and stuff. And then the other thought was, I'm having no fun fighting. I should just go watch the YouTube video of all the cutscenes compiled. And that's that's fair. Yeah. But I I liked the biggest compliment I can give that game is I feel they did such a good job of not making me angry when I had to switch characters. Sure. In the fighting game. Oh, yeah, and yeah. like that's so cool to me because like normally I'd be like, I just want to play as this guy. Right. But I like that I got tasted different people that I would have never played as Blue Beetle or, you know, yeah. whatever the fuck. Well, Black I, Canary. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that was the thing of like, you know, I choose uh, Black Canary over Green Arrow at one mm -hmm. part. And then it was like it came up again. I'm like, I'm stuck on Black Canary. I like this. Yep. You know what I mean? Like I like the vibe and how this feels. I, I all that's true. It's just I'm not a fighting game guy. Yep, totally and for Injustice One, I must have been in just the right mood to be like, I'll go, I'll not struggle, but I'll do this game play mechanic I don't enjoy. And this was just the opposite where I was just like, I am not in the mood. And it was that, you know, we're back from break. I'm finally back to my console and there's all these things I should be playing or want to play. Mm -hmm. I can't, you know, do that. Cause the other thing, I mean, like Kevin and I've been playing a lot of is PUBG and PUBG of course is the <laughs> antithesis to G my problem with GTA online. Right. Of like, since there is Get in, go exactly, here's this match in like, the the feeling of like you know Kevin and I finally making it to the top two in our uh, duos because I've won chicken dinners on my own but when it was Kevin and I finally getting into that part it was like this is fucking awesome now granted Kevin was already dead but just putting that out there for full disclosure that I was the only one alive also my wife came in and was like what do you want to eat yeah sushi like, yes like, so, yeah, so so like, sushi you know, like pick it right now and it's like sweetheart it's the most intense part of the game just give me a second. And then I got really excited. And then what, your gun wasn't set to auto, or was that a different match? I forget. No, that was that match. Yeah, my, yeah, that's why I died, because my gun wasn't set to auto. Like, what a fucking fantastic game that PUBG is. Fun, fun experience. Watching it from the outside, I've understood why, of course, people are into it. Playing a little bit on PC, I understood why people were into it. But when you start playing, jeez, just so much fun. And that's the thing where it is. It's right there with Friday the 13th. Of like, all right, cool. Friday's like, I have 20 minutes or whatever. And PUBG's like, I have a little bit more, a little bit less. Doesn't even matter. I've just like... I don't want to have to worry about like, fuck, I'm not, how do, how much do I have to grind to unlock that? How much, how many people do I have to go through to, the, to get to the next cutscene I want? It's like the gameplay is landing and fucking killing and sometimes it's super quick, sometimes it's not. What I want to do is get serious about getting better at being, uh, shooting and fighting and start not playing to make it to the top 10 like I do now and then said just land fucking run at people and try to, because that's what I need to do. I need mm. to bring those You said up. that and then, then we landed at the school and then you're like, no, let's leave. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, it's different with you. You, you, and I want to impress you. I want us to win that. When it's just me out that there, was, lone that wolfing. Was, that's when you got second place. You did impress me. See, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I grabbed a lot of people are like, you know, oh, there's only the chicken dinner or nothing. I'm like, no, no. Second, third, fourth. I'm impressed with all that. That's impressive. I got fourth once. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. <laughs> 
Fantastic. Um, and then I'm prepping for a little show we're filming tomorrow called the PlayStation VR show. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, Kevin. And of course, debuting in February, uh, taking deep dive looks at some of these uh, PlayStation VR games, dedicating an episode to you, ones that I think are something special or something unique or something that needs to mm-hmm. be seen. Uh, I've been trying to kick the tires on them, and man, my schedule has not been kind to that. But uh, sat down here in the office and played Accounting Plus. And I think you can attest to the fact that I was laughing like an idiot. It was unbelievable. I've never seen someone enter a VR world and act like there is no other world around him laughing hysterically and so la- like you were doing the type of laughing that I'm like, he's trying to show us how funny this game is. There's no way this is genuine. This, but then it went on for an hour and I'm like, yeah. no, he's just lost. He's just in this fucking universe that is just Greg Miller and fucked up things happening that are yeah. making him laugh. I, you were doing the type of laugh that you laugh when you say something crazy and you go off yeah, the wheeze like, laugh. Tr- the wheeze laugh. Yeah. And I'm like, oh no, this game. Uh, it's that thing I'm with, scared of it. Justin I'm Roy- more scared of that than Paranormal Activity VR. Justin Roiland, like, his sense of humor is very much my sense of humor. And it's why I loved House of Cosby's back in the day and why from, you know, I put off watching Rick and Morty forever and when I finally did sit down, I was like cry laughing at it. Uh, it's the same thing with Accounting Plus, except you're in these in this interactive space. So the way people talk to you, the way things interact, it's just, it's so fucking good. And this well, is like literally the shining example of what I'm talking about with this PlayStation VR show is like, there are so many cool experiences on this device that you just don't know about because you don't want to bust it out or you don't have it or you don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm excited to show people stuff like that. What I thought was really cool is you were laughing and having a good time from the first moment. Yeah. I feel like a lot yeah, of yeah. VR things kind of take a while to gear up and stuff. I kept looking over and I saw the screen of like what you were playing. Yeah. And it, it constantly looked different. It looked yeah. like you were in a bunch of different areas, but it looked like you had a grasp of the game and it looked like you weren't struggling. And I'm like, man, that's for them to make a game that's funny, but also looks like you can just understand it and go and yeah. make well, progress. Well, like the gameplay of it is super simple. And you are jump like at the to talk about it at length, I guess, like you're going through and picking up different like you start in a, you're an accountant or whatever in like but you're going to do accounting in vir- virtual reality so you pick up and put on the virtual goggles you already you're wearing the real life ones but in the game you put on another set and that takes you to the first world and then when you fucked around with what's interactable there you put on another pair of goggles and go to another world mm. and you keep drilling down into virtual reality and every world it's different and fucked up of course because it's the Rick and Morty guy yeah and so yeah it, uh, it's comedy in, ga- in a game is so hard and I think what fucks it up usually is the fact that if you're trying to tell a joke in an oh, an action game like Uncharted, right? Like you're never sure where the player's going to be. Are they looking at the right thing? Are they not? Are they mm-hmm. doing this one? Whereas this one, since it's more limited, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. you're using the warp around. You can like most places have three places you can warp to to interact with things. And like since there's only so many things you can interact with, like there's this one. I'm gonna spoil it. Sorry. I know Kevin. I want you to play it and be surprised and everything else. But like there's this one where you walk into like a dark alley and there's this gang there and they're like all fucking tough and they're like asking you how tough you are and, sh- and you start doing like mundane things around there and they're like oh man he is pretty tough blah, blah, blah. and you pick up a brick <laughs> and he, as soon as you pick up the brick they all they all drop it like whoa man don't go crazy don't be don't be <laughs> nothing you know what I mean like you have this fucking brick of like what are you gonna do with it and then you go a bunch of levels further but then you come back to that and like it's it's just it's so fucking it's such an acid trip of insanity yeah. but it's so funny it's That's so awesome. fucking funny if you find that funny and so yeah i've been tinkering with other stuff but you know we played more nidhog here uh another game spoilers for the vr show I'm, sh- the playstation vr show is going to be uh the diner duo which mm. i'm super stoked about uh yeah, it's the one i was talking about of one person in vr makes hamburgers and the other person with the dual shock delivers hamburgers and like so one person's in VR and one's not. Me and Nick are going to do that for the PlayStation VR show. I'm super stoked about that. That sounds fun. Yeah, but I think that's those are the, the super top level highlights. Played more Hot Shots. I obviously had more fun with that. Hot Shots? Oh, sorry. Everybody's golf. It'll yeah. always be Hot Shots golf. Gotcha. To me. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. Stayed away for the Switch for the most part, which is, yeah. feels weird. Feels I mean, weird. It's, it's, uh, unless you're into Xenoblade, it's kind of a quiet time. Yeah, for but the I still have more moons right to now. get and all that yeah, jazz. Of course. Like you know, what I mean, like I feel like there's those games. I I, I could, feel like you're at that point though, where it's like you know you have travel coming up. So right. You're like there's no reason to waste. Another an now. interesting thing, and I don't, and I'm this is not me saying I don't like the game that doesn't deserve the players against it, the game of the year nods and stuff. I could not bring myself on break to do the Zelda DLC. You're fine. I don't know what about. I know that you said, and I guess maybe that's it. But it, maybe it's the fact. I, but it was just. 
I was I was still like I thought about it. I was like I just I felt like I left that game in such a good place and I beat it and it was done. Yeah. Whereas I, Mario, I'm like I fucking need to get back to Mario. The the Zelda DLC has a lot of great stuff. The shrines are some of the best in the whole game, and the the dungeons equally as good as the Divine Beast. But there's a lot of filler in it, and I, I just it is weird getting back into it. And I I can knowing you, I can see you not. It's something I, I feel like you can pass it. on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, and my final thing is I did. Uh, a night of drunken Mario Kart with Danny Mac when he stayed with us in Jen. And fuck, is that game great? Yeah, God, man. I love that Mario Kart. Gotta so love that Mario good. Kart. And I'm so good. And I don't yeah. know how you beat me that one I time. But I, gotta, I told I gotta you. I got to come back the to The one ass. time I faced off against you, I, I won. Just saying. Just Tim, saying. what did you play over break? Um, or since I, the last time we did this I actually, kind of talk? I played a fair amount of very Tim-style games, which means older games. Popped into a lot of things that I've played before. Um including Amplitude, one of my favorite games of all time. I heard about this, and Andrew did, Renee. Did she bring this up on the yeah, show? Yeah, yeah. Huh. What did she have to say? She said that there's a few songs on the leaderboards uh-huh. that she's got a better score than you. Yeah. And that you're going to come for. Yeah. Okay. So so what happened was, uh, when you boot up Amplitude, there's like 30, 30 songs in the game, give or take. Uh, when you are friends with people, there's an overall leaderboard, and it'll tell you your percentage in the world of what amplitude level you are or whatever and at one point i was in the top one percent damn son yeah uh but as time went on more people have played and whatever i i am now i think i'm in four percent so still okay really good i'm happy about that and uh i wasn't friends with andrew renee on psn Ah. became friends recently so when i popped it on this time because i was like you know it's been a while i'm just i have 10 minutes i'm gonna play a song or two i get in and i see the leaderboards and overall I was ahead of her. She's she's very good. Top 7%, okay. I think. So I'm like, all right. like She's up there, which impressed me. Because like me and Andrew Renee have talked a lot of shit about Amplitude over the years. But I've always wrote her off. Where I was like, whatever. You think you're good, you but you have no good? idea. I totally did the like high school, college Smash Bros thing where it's like, shh, you think you're good? Yeah, you yeah, should yeah. see me and my friends. Like that type of shit. Yeah. Totally with, with Amplitude. I'm just like, like, no, no, no. Like, cool. That's cute. Like, th- this is my shit. But seeing her score, I was like, fuck, oh shit, she actually is really good. Yeah. Then when you go into the song list, you can go song by song, and it'll show you y- Yeah, we your place. Yeah. So it's j- on the leaderboard, It when you go in, it's just me and her. That's awesome. And so I see it, and I'm just like, oh, God, no. So did you try so the I started, time? So I started going through, and it, just to start it off, I just wanted to see where I was. Yeah. There was, I want to say, out of 30, probably... Uh, Eight songs that she had a better score than me. Okay. But as I looked at them, I'm like, oh, I got her. I just need to try. Yeah. yeah. I just need to go in. I was and, coasting and when I played them, the first time. I, I just went through and I was just like, because I never really tried to high score everything. Sure. So now I'm like, now I have a challenge. And then this brought a whole new life to Amplitude. Where now I'm just facing off against Andrea Renee. And there's nothing more satisfying. Gotcha. So I'm going through, knocking them out, knocking them out. It's great. Uh, but I got down to like the final five songs. And man, they've been tough. Yeah. And now it's at two. There's two left. That, uh, she's that she's got, still, she's holding she still has on me. Huh. And I'm just like, I got 28. She has two. And those two bother me. You and there's like one of them that I just don't know how she has such a better score than me. How much more? Uh, like, what's the point differential? It's, Ballpark. She has 3,000 points. Okay. I have 2,500. Gotcha. And I 100 percented the song. Okay. I didn't miss a note, Greg. Not one fucking note. Is there star Multiple power or something? Yeah, star, okay. It's using it at different times. And I'm like, man, and I have tried. I played that song probably 15 times trying to go different paths. And I'm just not able to do huh. it. But I'm not going to give up. But now she knows. And I like that because that puts it in her head. Let's see. Now that she can try, maybe the whole tide's going to shift. Sure. Maybe I'm going to be an asshole. Either way, I'm having a great time. And if you have not played Amplitude on PS4, it's fantastic. And you should totally you get You should it. probably be a man. Put the kind of funny world championship on the line against her. Oh, Best of five songs. In a second. Yeah. In a second, I would do that. You pick two. She picks two songs. Oh, no. And then, not two. And then we, Don't give me two. <laughs> two for you, two for her, and then we have like a crowd pick a third. Or I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Uh, fifth. Um, but yeah, man. God, I love that game so much. Uh, and then, like I said, I played on Justice 2. I was playing a bit of PUBG. Um... But now PUBG on Xbox, you said hadn't like it hadn't. You haven't gotten. The it, hasn't, it hasn't grabbed me in the way that the the PC one gotcha. did. Uh, but yeah, we get our squad going. There, there's been a couple other games that I'm blanking on right now that I, I was popping between. I played Nier Automata a lot. I talked about that on yeah. uh, Game of the Year podcast. Um, but the interesting thing to me is recently I got the Xbox One X. Yeah. And the last couple of days, I've been playing that thing nonstop. Uh, just popping you, made, in. you made a bold claim that this is now the t- tides are turning. You're going to play your third party games on that. 
yeah. You said maybe. Yeah. No, I mean, well, I'm, I'm gonna. Like, okay. that's, I mean, I have the TV. I have the console. Like, why wouldn't I? Right. You got like, a pro too. You'll have trophies. I don't care about trophies. Like, that's I think thing. you hide it's, them too. Don't you? You're a coward. I don't even care coward. about this stuff. Coward. I don't like people knowing any of my shit. It bothers me. Um, and then I'm gonna get all this fucking shit from people about like, you're still having platinum crash. It's like, well, thank God I've never said I would platinum or beat a game that I didn't. Yeah. Uh, well, I never said I would. I said I wanted to. I understand yeah, multiple that. times, uh, but multiple, I wish I wish I could platinum amplitude. That's the one game that I want to platinum. What's the trophy? Is it stuck? Dude, you, stuck. There's, you need to beat that game on expert difficulty. Uh, pretty much with, with no retries, no quitting. Uh, the whole campaign mode, and you need to get at least. Pretty much, you need to get three bars on every song. So you need to do really, really, really good. That whole thing takes in one sitting, probably an hour. And if you fuck up. 45 minutes in, you just got to start the whole thing uh, over. I I've tried kind of I've shit. tried it like 10 times, and it's close it, fairly close, but it's not close enough. And you once you do that, then you unlock the final difficulty level, which I want so bad. Because if I had the final difficulty level, my scores would be through the roof. And I'd beat oh, Andrew every day. Is that how she's beating you? No, you, no, she doesn't have okay, it unlocked. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, man, that's the whole thing. Um, but anyway, the Xbox, very interesting experience for me. I've obviously known about backwards compatibility. We've talked about Games Pass uh, a lot. Yeah. I've never actively used it. Okay. Uh, but now that I have the Xbox, I was kind of messing around with it, going through and just like re downloading all the Xbox games I owned um, and just kind of popping things in. The backwards compatibility, a lot cooler than I gave, yeah? it, gave it credit Why for. Why is that? Uh, because I, not really looking into it because I didn't really care about the ecosystem and I, it's, just, it's not for me. Yeah. Um, Always was under the assumption that like you would need the discs to you know put them in or whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. It's great for people that have a collection of 360 games. You just have to download them digitally for pretty cheap. Okay, yeah. And I'm like, that's really cool because that all of a sudden it's like PSN with the PS1 classics, at least on the PS3. Yeah. It's like a virtual console. Sure. And I'm like, oh, shit. I didn't realize that. That's really cool. Um, and especially now that they have Xbox original games. I love that type of, type of stuff. I'm a sucker for just like having little, little pop-ins of nostalgia, right? Sure. Fusion Frenzy. I'm playing the shit out of that. Okay. Piece of garbage. Okay. You ever play Fusion Frenzy? Fuck no. Do you know what it is? No. Uh, it's it was a launch title it's for like Marvel Xbox. For, uh, no, it's no, no, no. um Mario Party. Oh no, I don't know. It's just mini games. It's just okay. but it, it, there was a demo of it on the first Halo. And I played the hell out of the demo. I'm just playing this. It's like, oh, my God, the memory is just coming yeah, back. Yeah. Um, so that was a lot of fun. And then just kind of bounce around between like th that type of stuff. And then there's a lot of Xbox Live arcade games from the 360 that are backwards compatible that you can get here. Pac-Man uh, Championship, Championship Edition. Edition yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is awesome. Crazy Taxi uh, without the license. Uh, that's, music, can't which, do it. Which can't sucks. play it. But still popping in can't and playing do it. it. I was like, fuck, man. Like, there's, a, there's a lot of shit here, especially for party mode. I'm like, man, like. I made a ton of notes where I'm like, these are going to be great to play. And I, Crimson Skies, it's like, oh, playing that again is just awesome. Yeah. Um, and then the, the Game Pass, too. It allowed me to play a lot of these games without even paying for them because I had a, a free trial of Good the Game point. Pass. Yeah, because it came with the Xbox. And uh, it's it's so cool. Like, that, that's a great service. It's way better than PlayStation Now. Sure. Um, it's lacking a bit of options. Game Pass? Yeah. Like oh, you the, mean like library wise? Yeah, the library. Okay, right. it's, it's it's really good. The fact yeah. that even like Halo Five and Gears is there, I'm like, oh yeah. shit! Like they're really they're trying to it uh, Games, to make this right. Well, I've said it from the beginning. Games very impressive. Is a really it's, fucking cool thing, and I wish PlayStation would do it. I and I wish you know when I, I we talked about this. I think on one of the shows, right? Where it's this weird thing where I think internet would tell you that I'm a PlayStation fanboy. In reality, I know a lot about PlayStation just because I covered it for so long. And I think honestly, I cheer for Xbox the most. Where I'm like, I want you guys to win. I want. They've done so much right this generation that I want to see the wheels finally catch and then, you know, start really moving. But right now, it seems like exclusives are the big problem and the PlayStation leads just insurmountable. Yeah. I mean, it's it's interesting because I, at the end of the day, I'm a Nintendo guy and that's just because they make the games that uh, speak to me loudest. But the PlayStation, I I love it. Between PlayStation and Xbox, like, I'd go PlayStation because I like the controller better. Sure. And it's that simple. And it's, it's blue. Uh, and and, and the, and the blue does you know I mean? does stick with me a lot. Uh, yeah. But then with the Xbox, it's like if it's more powerful, I'm like, well, if I had the option, why wouldn't I go with that when sure. I have everything else for it? Sure. So, uh, so because of that, I got my I booted up my Master Chief collection. Mm. Been playing a lot of the Halo One uh, and Halo Two kind of just playlists, like the matchmaking playlist. Okay. 
Oh my god, I love those games so much. Yeah, I am dog shit at them. I'm horrible at them, and it there's nothing more stressful than uh, playing Team Slayer, which is deathmatch. Sure, like two v two. We'll be in uh, Beaver Creek running around, and man, I'm dying all the time. I feel so bad. I see my, my team hit running Because you're not playing me. with friends. You're yeah, playing no, with a guy. Just, just, just like popping into matches, and I'm just like, I'm so sorry, dude. Like, I wish I could help you. I wish I could help you. Because anyone who's still playing Master Chief is like so fucking into it. Oh my and God. you're just like, this well, is that's a, the thing. what a lark. I'm playing uh, the Capture the Flag matches on Zanzibar, and I'm like, I know this map like the back of my head. I played this so many times, and I see these motherfuckers like, th- like playing Capture the Flag, throwing the flag at it, and it's just like, flag return, flag captured. Flag return. Flag. I'm like, what are they fucking doing? They're confusing me. I don't know what's happening. And I just see them running with it. I guess it's it's faster to throw it and move because I think it slows you down in Halo 3, which I didn't play. It was Last Resort. Whatever. Get into the weeds of this. But um, God, I love the early Halo games. There's just such a such a fun to them and the nostalgia shit that I love. But like just playing, being in those worlds again and seeing it on the the Xbox One. Not even the X. That the the patch isn't out for that yet, which is kind of upsetting. Master Chief Collection patch. It's like, guys, that's should have got that, that. That game it launched with so many problems, and still to this day, I guess. But that, that's the thing is, that supposedly there's going to be a patch early 2018 that's going to fix a lot of the problems and add all the 4K and yeah, yeah, bells yeah. and whistles. And I'm like, man, you should have had that already. You think so? So that was a weird thing. But man, I'm really having a good time with that. That's and awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying the Xbox. I want to do so a uh, a party mode that is a two on two capture the flag. Um, me and Nick versus you and Andy. Yeah, hell yeah, let's fucking go. No, well, I know. Uh, me and Nick need to be split up. Oh, I guess that makes sense because you guys. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, yeah. don't know okay. Blood Gulch or Beaver Creek or oh, Beaver Tail oh, or man, man. Oh, you're missing Rainbow out. Road. I don't know. Um, <laughs> speaking of all this stuff, though, let's get into the topic of the Same show. Same way. Greg. Microsoft predictions. Yeah. Okay. Xbox. And granted, we spent a whole episode talking about PlayStation predictions. Sure. Uh, this one is going to be Microsoft, Nintendo, and third-party stuff. Uh, the Microsoft section, a lot smaller than the other guys, and I think there's multiple reasons for that. One, we're w- way more familiar with the Nintendo and PlayStation, PlayStation systems nitty-gritty like, yeah. stuff. And but also, that, just be, yeah. there's a lot more announced, and there's a lot more yes. things to discuss that are concrete. Um, so with Microsoft release dates, we know March 20th, Sea of Thieves. Right. Uh, they have a beta coming up this month, January. Yeah. And, you know, we've talked about that to death on uh, Games Daily and stuff. And So the I, quick recap is we don't think it's going to do too well. Yeah. We think, I, I'm not, not, we're not talking about the quality of the game. Mm-hmm. We're talking about the fact of it catching on. Is Yeah. How big is the audience going to be for Sea of Thieves? I wish it well. I think it looks cool. I want to do the party mode with it. I, I hit up Microsoft without getting into the beta to actually be able to do stuff with it. But I'm not sold on this being a mainstream hit. And I mean mainstream in terms of Xbox audience. Yeah. yeah. Totally. I mean, to put it in terms of Nintendo... I feel like they want a Breath of the Wild or an Odyssey, and they're going to get an ARMS. Where it's okay. like, it's not going to be bad. It's going to be good, yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's not going to catch it's on. It's not going to set the world or, on so fire. Maybe not even Zelda or Mario. They want a Splatoon, uh, but it's going to be an ARMS. Where yeah, it's like, that makes it's sense. Good, people will but, fuck with it for a week or a weekend. And then there's going to be the a majority of people that ju- really exactly. like it. There's going to be a community that forms around it and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. But it's not going to catch on, and everybody's going to be like, no, but really, you need to play this. Um, but we'll see. And again, I, I hope that I'm wrong. But then going down the rest of the list of uh, Microsoft, it gets interesting because it's Crackdown 3. What's going on with that? Joey asked me yesterday, like, do you think it's going to get canceled? No way. And I think like it's too it far na- along now for them to just not do the game. But when do you think it comes out? Well, did they not put a new date on it when they kicked it before? An actual date? Yeah. Here we go. This is what we're getting yelled at before. You look for it. But I I'm think, I mean, it was the idea that I, Microsoft has nothing to gain by just releasing a game that is shit or isn't up to par or isn't where they want it to be. They already are behind the ball when it comes to exclusives. They understand this. Uh, Phil and his team's message has been simple, right? Hey, we want great games. We are going to make a big push for exclusives this year. We want Xbox gamers to come here for exclusive experiences, they can't put out a bad one. And so, sure, right now we sit here in navel gaze and go, oh man, will it ever come out? Is it going to get canceled? Blah, blah, blah. It's way better than them putting it out and, and with all due respect to Recore being another Recore. Where it's like, hey, we have an exclusive game. Here it is. And everybody's like, that's fucking a 7.0. Nobody cares. Yeah, Fuck. Exactly. All right. Whatever. I'd rather sit there and I, you know, I, Terry Crews is a character in the game. 
I, I wouldn't be surprised if one of the reasons it's getting delayed is because they like him so much they're putting him into more mm. of the game because I found it weird that he was in the trailer and it was like, oh, he's in the, or the debut teaser and then it seemed after the fact, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, that it was, okay, no, now he's going to be, he is a character in the game. Oh, okay. And then it seemed like it just went on and on and on. What do you got for me in terms of dates over there? I got something interesting, Craig. Okay, lay it on me. Now, uh, this is from express.uk. Don't believe it for a second then. Yeah. I, don't know. I, I mean, I don't I'm know. kidding around. Tell me what we got. Xbox One X Games News. Games News. Huge leak out. Major release dates in New Forza Horizon. So let's go through. Oh, is this, this from today? This is from four hours ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Xbox One X Games list could soon welcome some major Microsoft exclusives. A new leak on Spanish Amazon Store has seemingly revealed that Crackdown Three and State of Decay Two release dates. According to the page listing, State of Decay Two will be released on Friday, May 25th. Fuck. I want it sooner than that. This will be followed by Crackdown 3, which has a Friday, June 29th mm, release date. Okay. Microsoft's yet to make an official announcement, so the release dates could be placeholders. Yeah. And a new listing on the Brazilian ratings board suggests that a new Forza game is in development. The listing suggests that Forza Horizon 4 is coming in 2018. So, that's interesting because what it was... Oh, I hate when I fuck up sentences. In August, it was announced that it was being Crackdown was moving from a November to a spring release. It was going to be a spring thing where Shannon said, uh, we're very excited about Crackdown 3 and so are many of our fans. And so it's a difficult call to move a release date. However, we want to make sure we deliver the right game and the right quality at the right time. Crackdown 3 is a hugely ambitious game and we want to ensure we deliver the right experiences all the way through every part of the game, whether that's campaign, co-op, multiplayer, blah, blah, blah. So I think that is what they're going for and it is quality over uh, uh over uh, not quantity but quality over uh in the moment mm -hmm. you know they, they want they're looking at the long-term goal not the short-term thing if we finally fucking released a game they know they have to put out games that are great mm -hmm. and so it doesn't surprise me that it's now moving from spring to june if that weird site that just talked about that's correct that wouldn't surprise me uh and i think it's always going to be for the best because they know they need to nail this it can't come out and just be a game it has to come out and be like all right it's never going to live up to the expectations. It's never going to live up Absolutely. to the development cycle, the time we've been fucking talking about Crackdown 3. But if it comes out and it's an 8.5, and it is a game that Kevin and I are like, all right, fuck, let's go collect orbs. Let's jump to the top of that building. Let's do that. That's all they need. They just need people playing Xbox. And PUBG did that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Three million players totally. they announced today as, we, as we're getting ready to record this. Like, PUBG brought people that system. PUBG has me using my Xbox. PUBG has me using the new dashboard. Be like, oh, this is a really, really good improvement. I do use this. This is nice. Yeah. Interesting. That's what they need. I mean, going on from Crackdown, we got State of Decay 2. So if that's the release date, then oh, that my God. might State be a question answered. Oh, my God. Oh I can't believe that game's not out. God. Really? Yeah. Wow. Crackdown, I understand. Crackdown. It's not like you said Quackdown, which would quack be, that's down. also a funny name. Quackdown uh, has had some issues where you know we've we've seen a bunch and it feels like it's been totally retooled. Sure, or whatever. We get that. Uh, but State of Decay, I feel like since we started, kind of funny. We were talking about State of Decay. Oh, we that were. Was the HD. They put out the collection or not the collection, the HD whatever the hell with all the DLC. Yeah, bundle okay, bin. okay. That okay. and I streamed that for a long time and did a bunch of content with that. Yeah, that's why you feel like we've been talking about State of Decay too long. Mm. In reality, what it was. A teaser trailer at last year's E3? Not 2016's E3, and then 2017 there was more, and we actually got to see them play it, and then now you, it's coming out this year at some point, hopefully, May 25th, but I'd fucking really like it sooner than that. But I'll wait as long yeah. as I have to, Undead Labs. State of Decay, wow, what you a fucking it? great goddamn zombie game of the kind of zombie game I want to play that is action-y, I can shoot it, I can hit it in the head or whatever, I get to drive these cars, but it is open world of I'm going to go... Today, all I'm going to do is clear out all the houses in this neighborhood and get the X over the map when I go through and get all the things and my giant rucksack of fucking things and over encumbrance and drop them. It's like, oh, I don't know, permadeath for your character. It's like, fuck, yes, I love State of Decay. God, I can't wait for more State of Decay. I'm happy for you because I feel you. the same way about Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Sure. Good Lord, did I love Ori and the Blind You Forest. did. You really were a big fan. It is uh, such, a, such a Tim game. And this game coming out now with Xbox One X, with HDR, 4K, hopefully... All that fancy stuff, God, yeah. that's going to be beautiful. Ori is the type of game that HDR is made for, where just a lot of vibrant colors, just beautiful landscapes. Man, can't wait for it. Want more information. We didn't get anything, really. It was just yeah. kind of, hey, it exists, which more than enough for me. Good. That wasn't a guarantee. Yeah. Um. So I'm I'm very excited for that. But that's kind of it on my list of, of things besides PUBG having a full release at some point. And the question of, 
is it going to stay exclusive? Is it going to come to PS4? Mm, that is a great question. And what do you think? I mean, now where we're at with it being such a huge hit on Xbox, does that make them be like, you know what, we're committing to this? Or does that make them go, hey, we can be a huge hit everywhere? Oh, I no, I don't think it's going to be exclusive to Xbox forever. I, I think there was a rumor, if you remember, about Xbox trying to extend the exclusivity. This is before it was even out yet. Mm -hmm. I think that was Xbox at least in a public sense, what I think most people knew that this thing's going to be fucking huge. And like, God, we need to capitalize on this. I think if Xbox would have gotten it full time, if they would have gotten lifetime exclusivity on it, it would have been, guess what? We've hit 3 million players in PUBG, and we are officially the only place you'll ever play this on a console. What do you think's the latest they can announce that if that were to be the case? Or do you think that that time is done or maybe there's still deals happening where they could come out and be like, I mean, you can announce that whenever. You figure they could go, hey, we're about to go 1.0 with it, and guess what? It's the only place yeah. you'll ever play it. I don't think you would, though, because you'd have to imagine for that to happen, PUBG would have to think the money Xbox is going to give us for this deal would supersede the amount we'd make on a PlayStation 4 or Switch. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying it's coming to Switch, but you know what I mean? In term but they've been so clear in their messaging. We want this on every device, and we want this. They understand that. This is a juggernaut game. This is a Minecraft kind of game that wherever you put it, it's going to sell a gajillion copies. And I think for them, while I believe PUBG has legs, obviously, I think it'll be this entire year and well into 2019 and probably beyond that because I think they'll keep reinventing it and putting out new maps and doing stuff. While that is true, strike while the iron is hot. Mm -hmm. And so it's got to be that Xbox wants more time or tried to get more time. And I assume they were like, we're going to stick with the agreement yeah. we made and use this experience to figure out consoles and figure out what's right and wrong with what we've built for consoles and then get it to PlayStation 4 because I think Sony will have no choice in the same breath, right? Of like, hey, we are the big, we've, we are the, we have the most consoles on the market and now we have the biggest game going PUBG yeah. out here. Let's get it out there and let's go crazy with it and do all this stuff. Oof. So then a couple question marks, Greg. Lay it on me. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Right. Where the fuck is this It exists. Game? It's real. We we know it. It's uh, still not actually confirmed as the title. Right. Because that, yeah, exactly. From the, the Montreal. With the, yeah. Well, do, do you remember that? Yeah, the that's why I was looking at the Tomb Raider tweet, right? Yeah, the tweet where if you look at the first letter of every word, it spells out shadow. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be Shadow of the Tomb Raider. But the question is, is it Xbox exclusive or does it launch multi-platform? My answer there would be... It has to be multi-platform. I think uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider was done a grave disservice being put just on Xbox, and I feel that it handicapped, you know, took it out at the knees what it was going to do and what kind of impact that game would have. And that game's fucking awesome. That game didn't get the love it deserves, and even when they put out the... Uh, I see it over there. Rise of the Tomb Raider, whatever edition on PlayStation 4, but, you know... 20th anniversary edition? Yeah, was it? D d definitive edition, whatever the fuck they called it. When they put it there, 20 year edition. E even that just didn't drive sales or hype because it is an old game. Old game is old and that sucks and you don't want to do that. And so, even if you're talking about monetarily, hey, they're going to give us a good chunk of change. We should do that. I think there's a big part of video game development that is the pride and the well-deserved praise and the fandom and all that stuff. And you don't get that with the what was done to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider wasn't as big a deal as it should have been because it had this split launch. And anytime somebody's getting interviewed, the question isn't about how great it is, how many hours it is. It's when's it, how long is the exclusivity deal? And like, oh, I can't talk about it. We're only talking about Xbox all this time. And shit like that. That's a shitty thing to do to your developers who busted their ass to make that game. And it sucks that then when it gets to game of the year time, the first year when it's just on Xbox, people are like, well, I guess it, whatever. When primarily it's Xbox year, right? Of just like, I didn't play it enough to know. Yeah, it's cool. But this is this other game that we all played more. Out. It, it just doesn't get the juice it deserves. And that sucks. And I mm -hmm. think that that goes a long way to a studio's uh, uh, overall not culture, but attitude. And I think that you don't want to be, have your developers work on something for two, three years, four years, have them put it out there and not get as many pats on the back about it as they can. Mm -hmm. And I just think that it's not worth it. I think, especially as the way the PlayStation 4 has continued to run away, you need and want to get your games on there, especially as Square is trying to figure out how to make the most money and closing studios and getting rid of properties. Like mm. they're in the bit, they're in this business to make money. And so now they need to. And when the fuck is Avengers coming? Who knows? 
And so yeah. it's that's the same thing. And I'm sure it's probably on your multi-platform list eventually yeah. or whatever. But they, you know, the what's the rumor is that this is a jo- this being Tomb Raider is a joint co- project right between. Uh, it's IDOS Montreal in Crystal Dynamics, right? And that's because it was from the Montreal subway that the photo was taken. Yep. And that, but then it's also, isn't that the same, it's the same way for one of them is the, was supposed to be head on. I think, I think it's Montreal's head on Tomb Raider, the rumor crystals, the head on Avengers, Avengers. but they're still getting help up there help too. From both of them. Yeah. And so it's this, you need to keep these people happy and make them put out their games and make them get to as many people. And I, I, there's not a chance short answer. I don't think there's a chance in hell. This is an Xbox exclusive. Hmm. I think they learned it. I think Xbox, didn't see the results they wanted in it because when people sit there and talk yeah. about the exclusives on Xbox, they don't fucking talk don't about Rise of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. Um, very interesting. So then I guess the big questions are, so there's the Forza games that we just read the rumor potentially about Horizon 4. That, I feel, will happen. Uh, but then there's the next Halo, the next Gears, uh, some new IP. Like, what what's going to happen with, with the rest of Xbox's lineup? Because... For me, looking at it, Gears Four feels like it just happened. Yeah, because it did, right? That was we were a in year the studio. and a half ago, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. we were here. Yeah, um, Halo Five. It's been a while. Yeah, like we weren't in the studio yet. That was the year before that, and you know, Halo being kind of the big juggernaut Xbox uh, franchise, they they need to to fix some things. People loved Guardians. But sales numbers show that it wasn't as high as the, some of the previous games. I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that 343 fucked up with Master Chief Collection and you know all of the stuff that they have. But now with the Xbox One X and all the stuff that they're going, there is more goodwill. And if they do fix Master Chief Collection and go forward, I think it's been long enough with Halo that they could come out and have a, a big splash with it. My thing is, if we don't see Halo 6 or whatever it ends up being called at E3, E3. this year... I totally believe that's going to be a next Xbox game. Sure. And they're if I was internal on. right now, I would I would 100% hold it to the next Xbox. I think and I and I again, this all sounds so negative, but I'm the I want Xbox to succeed. I think the Xbox One X and what they're doing now and all these programs aren't to win this generation. I think they are to build a foundation in this generation of like cool, we are fine being behind PlayStation this time. Build up goodwill, do exactly what PlayStation did with PS3. Get this the community that's stuck here, make them happy to be Xbox fans and celebrated to be Xbox fans and give them st- state of decay and different little games and little exclusives and all these things. So that when oh, we that announce, too. when we announce next box, it is cool. And it's launching with halo f- uh, six mm-hmm. and it is this big deal. And I feel like you're talking about how, you know, the last halo didn't set the world on fire because of master chief collection and all these different things. I think it's just, it didn't set the world on fire just because there's been so much fucking halo. Well, I think it's, that's what I'm saying with Master Chief Collection. Yeah. That's a lot of Halo yeah, being, okay. being put on Xbox One and for it to also have fuck-ups. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like but it's that just, coming off of Reach, coming off of ODST, yeah. coming off of all of the... It's totally an Assassin's Creed situation of just like, cool, it's no longer special because it's no longer here. It's the same way Call of Duty obviously still sells juggernaut numbers and stuff, but it's not a fucking cultural event anymore where it was for a while where every, when it, on that r- hype ramp up, of when it, we were all like, holy shit, this is becoming a cultural phenomenon. You know, every November there's this thing, and like it was Call of Duty Day, and like it was so cool to see those ads that had celebrities in them, like running around shooting shit. But now it's just like you expect that, you know, that's going to be there, okay. And so yeah. it still sells really well, which is fine, but Master Chief or Halo isn't finding that success. So totally stop, make people ask for it. Where the fuck is it? And not ask for it like we do, where it's like, well, it's been a few years. It's probably time for it. Mm-hmm. I want and like the real fucking Xbox fan, the lapsed Xbox fan who bought a PlayStation 4, but want, give him time to miss Master Chief and miss Halo. Mm-hmm. And come back and fucking do it all. Just yeah, play, give blow him the poncho. Up. Give him the fucking poncho. Yeah, and I don't know. It's, it's going to be interesting because, you know, forever we always talked about games launching, game consoles launching with the, that killer app uh, isn't a great business strategy just because there's not the install base that yeah. you need. But yeah. Breath of the Wild totally proved that wrong and yeah and i don't know x the next xbox coming out with a proper halo game at launch that's huge i i understand the argument there like it build up a I, I always feel like if you're talking about third party of course wait let's not put a lot of time into this get it get the let these consoles get their ground but i think for first party when you don't know when you're behind when you're as behind yeah. as xbox is they need to punch PlayStation and the industry in the fucking mouth with the next Xbox and what their next big move is. And they need to say, they, it needs to be clear, right? It needs to be exactly what I've laid out here. Like, 
foundation, goodwill, we got it. And then B, hey, fuck everybody. This is what we've been working on. These are the exclusive studios that you've, by that time, you've seen us pick up these p- people and bring them in first party and not t- not tell you what they're working on or talk about uh, deals we've signed for for first par- or uh, exclusive games and then come out and have that thing be like, I mean, th- I know this is just the fucking matrix where we just repeat the same cycles over and over again, but be PlayStation, PlayStation three to PlayStation four and come out and have your February event and hat in hand and be like, Hey, we fucked up when we launched the Xbox one and we never really re- regained from that, but we did get goodwill with games pass in this and that and blah, blah. And that's why we're here to tell you that we've, we've made it very clear. You know, we don't do gimmicks anymore. We're all about fucking games. Let me tell you about the next 12 months on yep. your ex- next box and what's going to happen. Fucking yeah. Crush it. So, I mean, am I missing anything here with the big Xbox franchises that whether or not we've seen them recently, Stubbs like, the zombie, where yeah, is right? It? Blinks know? the time cat. Yeah, blinks the time. Uh, but cause with halo and gears, like those are still kind of the big ones with Forza being there as well. But I don't know. Let, let us know in the comments if, if there's things that we're just not missing because we just don't have the, the knowledge. F- our feet base. planted there. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's not, I feel like we're hitting the big stuff. And I'm talking about, we're talking about the big stuff, obviously. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of course, there's going to be a whole bunch Killer of Killer Instinct and, and stuff like that. Yeah, Instinct, yeah, yeah. Which I booted up for the first time. Oh. Had fun with it. Ultra yeah. combos and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That opposite thing of uh, un- Injustice, where I feel like that game, a little overcomplicated to get into in the beginning, where yeah. I was like, eh, there's too much going on. I'm, I'm, I'm out. Killer Instinct? Yeah. Okay. Um, you were talking about Avengers. We talked about that in the beginning of the last predictions episode where gotcha. we were talking about the big questions. Uh, the okay. unicorns is what gotcha, I call gotcha, them. Gotcha. Uh, but I mean, just to kind of recap on whatever our new thoughts are on it, do you think it's Xbox exclusive? Oh, Avengers? No. I, I, I give a hard no. I feel, like, I, I feel like, like they want that. Exactly. And they'll try, I, I bet but it's not going to be Xbox worth it. made a play for it, but it, everything I just said about Tomb Raider, I think, stands the reason the exact same way here. The only wrinkle is that I think similar to Spider-Man, Avengers is a big enough title. Like, Tomb Raider, I felt, yeah, it was held back by its exclusivity, and that hurt it. I think Avengers could drive sales, would drive sales of an Xbox One in the same way Spider-Man is going to drive sales of a PlayStation. Yeah. If they make a fucking good-looking Spider-Man PlayStation 4 Pro, I will fucking buy it. And then I'll just have another fucking Pro for some good reason. Lord. But I'm like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a promise. Don't make it look like shit, PlayStation. But I don't think so. Yeah. I feel like that Square didn't see the return they probably wanted on Tomb Raider, so why would they? But it's just, I guess this is an apples and oranges. Tomb Raider to Avengers is not the same fucking no, thing. No, not at all. But I just, and Although I, Tomb Raider is is a franchise. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, Tomb yeah. Raider is, is the I would say, the video game, if not Avengers, the video game, like, I don't know, X-Men? Not specifically Wolverine, but, like, it's known. Tomb Raider and video games are synonymous. Sure, but that doesn't lead that. Obviously, that's you know uh, that name brand doesn't lead to sales. That doesn't mm-hmm. lead to gu- guaranteed success. It doesn't. It doesn't lead to moving a unit. It doesn't move yeah. to Xbox. You know, buying an Xbox. Mm-hmm. Whereas I think Avengers, yeah, would lead to you buying an Xbox. Spider Man is going to lead to people buying a PlayStation. Mm-hmm. And I don't, you know, not knowing I mean, how these I backroom wonder. deals work. I don't. I, if I was Xbox, I'd be like that sucks, guys. Come on, Bill, give us something. Yeah. Give us. Something. I wonder if Avengers is get Spider Man. I totally agree. Will sell systems. I wonder if Avengers will. If the problem right now that we can't say if it would or wouldn't say we haven't seen the game. Yeah, I think if they if, True. if we if we if they had footage out there like Spider Man does and it is fucking awesome and it's bonkers and it's fucking cap jumping through like windows with a shield and landing on people and rolling off and fighting mm-hmm. somebody and then it's a you know you jump cut to Thor you do all this different stuff like I could see you being like holy fuck this game is amazing and I have to play it but yeah. right now just being like off the one trailer like I don't know, or the teaser being yeah like I don't know what the hell this game is not at all yeah moving on to third parties and multi platform games here Greg. You're skipping Nintendo, saving the best. I, I am because looking at the time, I'm thinking Nintendo might be its own episode next week. You know what? Let's just this is just the year of twenty. This is how we do the shows this year. I'm down. Every year we just I, we try to do as many predictions as we can. We can't. We just fucking yeah. yeah. Die. I mean, I, I love this stuff. I feel like the predictions is something that we're good at. Like having that discussion. Well, we're great at coming up with fucking ideas that never come true. <laughs> that's true. Hey, no, but, no, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that we're good at predicting things that actually happen. I'm good at, I think that we're good at having the discussion about predicting things and, and why things may or may not These are our happen. Gatorade get hype moments. No, I yeah. don't. I'm just, you I'm got just them calming them down. And I have them, them soft Do I have hands. rough hands? Yeah, I don't I do. know. Mine my are, hands are real rough. Mine are very Kevin, soft. Kevin, get me the lotion. Lotion them up. Cool, Greg. Lotion. My God, I can't do the show if I have bad hands. Really? 
No, I can totally do the show. But I can do the show with no hands. No hands? No hands at all? Yeah. I'm going to pee, Greg. I was oh, okay. hoping there was kids. a better segue there, but there wasn't. Hey, everybody. It's me, Greg Miller. Uh, Tim's got to pee. I love you. So talk to me a little bit right now. If you're in your car, how you doing? Oh, really? What are you doing? Bad day at work, you say. That sucks. Kevin, Kevin's going to lotion me up here. This is going to come out like it's been just pent up for 13 years. Ah, yeah. Okay, now we're talking. All right. Now, Kev, sit down. How much do you miss PUBG right oh now? Oh, my God. I miss it so right, much. God. But I also miss uh, Grand Theft Auto. I do, too. I just feel like we're never going to we're never gonna play enough to do everything. But that's only because you're saying that. You know what I mean? Sure. If I'm, re- I'm a, a realist. Couple, you said, Kevin, if you're ready, I'm ready. And I'll I am ready. And I'm going hard. And I, I'm still ready. But I'm just saying we didn't well, do we that over a break. Do, well, we need to. Uh, whose fault was that? Me, I went away. Yeah. But I'm going what away. What we need to do, what? what we need to do is set up a schedule. I like how you keep saying what we need to do, we need to do. And commit to the schedule. Be okay. like, all right, Mondays, okay. we leave and okay. we play or we pull out here and play here. There you go. Yeah. See, that might that might be the thing. It's because when we get home, it's these women we love, our yeah. wives. Yeah. They're the problem. Yeah, they're always they around, t- you know what I mean? They want to talk to us. Ah, they want to take like, care stop. of us. They want to tell us about their day. They're like, do you so understand? What about my day? Do you understand I want to buy these tires? <laughs> I got to buy these tires for this fake car I have. <laughs> and that's the worst part because on the, you know, the uh, uh, anniversary stream, I pit my car out. My car yeah. looks fucking great. Oh, yeah. I got to get back in there. All the best friends are wearing the same suit. I know. It's awesome. Same, similar suit. I I, here's what, you know suit. what we should do? Yeah, I'm I, I love the idea. Let's, you know, set up times and dates yep. to play Grand Theft uh-huh. Auto. We should also Is this then... Is getting cut out? Or? Oh, no. Say so. Oh, okay. We also then need to do where we get Peanut or whoever and be like... Yeah. Penis You're Virgo. dragging us through this fucking heist so we can get the goddamn money. Because what I re- I don't even want to do the heist. But there's a problem is I think you have to do the heist a couple times. Yeah, that's fine. By a couple, I mean like ten, like ten times. I don't even, I'm not even talking. He was like, if you do things right, you get like, I think he said five hundred. Sure, but here's the thing. You're, Thousand. You're thinking. You're thinking about how do we go from the heist uh, uh, to the DeLorean. Yeah. All I want to do is go from the heist. To be over my little, my own like I'm making no, mar- I no, 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 no. Oh. I want to get the little thing to make the marijuana or to run the drug. I want to get my own little cottage industry going, and then I can just ch- ch- pop into like I gotta go make a drug delivery and go get the money from that and stuff. Okay, all right, that sounds great. I didn't know you could get make your own little cottage industry. Cottage industry. Yeah, yeah. Have you watched Danny O'Dwyer no clip himself his documentary on the GTA people? Uh, I watched parts of it. Did you get to when they, he, the group meets that girl and she comes over? Go to that. Cause the, the woman they meet, she was just running her drugs somewhere and then mm. they blew it up and it was like a real laugh for them, but she was about to make a million dollars. And I'm like, that's what I want to do. I just want to fucking make millions of dollars in this fake sure, video game. Sure. It's fucked it's so up. That he, like we can't get just get someone to give us money in the game. Rockstar doesn't care. You know yeah. what I mean? They don't, they, they care. They like us. Uh huh. But they're rock stars. No, I meant like it. kill a best friend. That's it's like, all right, cool. I have five hundred thousand that I'm not using, and that's he a just great point. dies dead, and we take his money. That, ooh, that's a really good point. But I think once you deposit it, maybe you can withdraw it. But is that you wrong? can rob? What people. are the ethics? You know, you can rob these? people. There's got to be best friends watching right now or listening that, right now. That, What's like, up like oh man, I played. I haven't played Grand Theft Auto in four years, yeah. and I'm never going to play it again. But for those two years, sign on, sign on with all your money on it, and let us beat you to death with baseball bats. We'll do it on stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tim. It's a great show. Wrap it up. I love it. Until next time, patreon.com. <laughs> All right. Third party, multi platform. Release dates we know, Greg. We're starting off with January 23rd. We got the worst titled game of all time. Guess who named it? Square Enix. Lost Sphere. They misspelled Sphere. Quite sphere is spelled S P H E A R. What the fuck is this game? It's uh, it's it's uh, the follow up to I am Setsuna. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So JRPG. Wow. Yeah. Classic terrible name. Terrible JRPG uh, coming to Windows, Switch, and PlayStation Four. Okay. Okay. I'm sure it's going to be good. I'm sure it's going to be great. I am Setsuna was real good. Yeah, but then you got this name, and you're like, mm, okay, cool. We'll see what happens there. <laughs> and then finally, for everybody asking for it, January 26th, Monster Hunter World on Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Lame game. <laughs> Kevin, mark my words. You'll be hunting monsters with me. All right. I'm pl- I, You're I've, stoked about it, Greg? I'm not I stoked. Come around my it? interests peaked. Peaked. Peaked my mm-hmm. interest this mm-hmm. game. As I've said. I, uh, yeah, uh, huh? What was that? I don't, I don't like this game. That's all I heard. You don't even know you'd be like this game? I don't. I said interest peaked. I enjoyed my time with the Monster Hunters when I had to review them. Mm-hmm. Got sick of them. Never wanted to play another one. 
But now, it's been ten years. PlayStation Four, a whole bunch of stuff's different. Mm-hmm. The, the whole controls, new world, it's brand new attitude. It's supposed to be. You still got to catch the them all. Be the best you can be. And you get a random monster generated. No, that is not this game. No, I, that's Pokemon. That's Monster Rancher. I know. I just fucked around. Um, I love Monster Rancher. <laughs> it's a great game, man. God damn. So I'm interested to try it and see what's up. Will it click? Who knows? Probably Who knows? not. But if it does, I'm gonna drag Kevin in there. And that's the other thing. Kevin and I start at the same time on a game. Mm-hmm. With the community as well. We're out there hunting monsters. And I get to say, come on, let the hunt be the hunting. Remember that song? No. <laughs> it was, they used to play it a lot during... I, I think I want to say it's from the same guys who did... Uh, no, probably not. P.O.D. Come on, let the hunt be boom, the... I'll look into here it. Here comes the boom, ready or not. I like the radio How play. like me now. That was an Amplitude one. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to try it and see. Yeah, it's exciting. January 26th, Dragon Ball Fighters on Windows, PS4. And oh, Xbox actually, that's, I found out was called Dragon Ball Fighter Z. No. No, somebody corrected me. I kind of funny games daily. That I was, I, they I, said I, it was I Fighter Z? Saying, no, no, I kept saying oh, that. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, what a stupid fucking title. It's Dragon Ball Z and they fight, Greg. Sure. Put the Z lowercase then this and I don't pronounce the Z. absolutely stunning to the point that I'm like, like I've been saying all episode here, it's a theme. I enjoy fighting games. Not good at them. I enjoy it. Not a Dragon Ball guy. Not because I don't like Dragon Ball. I just never watched it, never read it, never sure. partook in this whole thing. Kevin loves it. Big fan of it. I'm definitely giving this game a shot just because of how good it looks. I want to support things like that. It okay. reminds me of Cuphead, where I'm like, even before I saw, like, the, I knew about that game, just a couple glimpses of it, I'm like, I need to play that game just because I support the art style. Same thing with Dragon Ball Fighters. Okay, I was thinking of Saliva, the spy hunter theme. Interesting. They have a music video here. Don't don't play it. Don't. I'm gonna wait for them to get to the. Come on, let the hunt be the hunted. Man, saliva. They used to play that during WWE. The PS2 game. Man, I rented the shit out of that game. It was all times. Game Awards when Rock made fun of uh, the score from Game Informer, which was awesome. Good lord. Good lord, says Tim. February 15th, Owlboy on Switch. Fucking finally, right? And PS4 and Xbox One. Owlboy. But we're playing it on Switch. Yeah, exactly. But it, God, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's about time. These these gentlemen behind mm-hmm. this game, they came through for our first GDC live yeah. stream in 2015. Great people. Took Showed them forever. The they put so it on that good. stupid PC. But here we go. Finally coming to something we care about. Mm-hmm. Good job, Owlboy. It's going to be a good time. Andy Cortez, stoked as fuck for this game. True story. He did the mocap for the owl. Oh, my God. Really? Yep. Wow. What a hoot. <laughs> what a hoot, that guy. Uh, February 15th, Secret of Mana on Windows. The PS4 remake. for and PS Vita. Vita lives. Vita lives. Vita lives. Are you excited? Co-op. About nah. Yeah. Never gotten into the secret games. Secret. Uh, February 20th. Metal Gear Survive on Windows, PS4, and Xbox One with the beta out January 18th through 21st. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, man. I, people are so angry. So down on this game. Oh, yeah. And they have such an uphill battle to, to yeah. fucking fight on this one. I saw McCaffrey, I guess, IGN put up like a, I don't know if it was IGN first or just put up an exclusive whatever. And McCaffrey was on Twitter being like, I don't understand why people, I understand you're mad, but why is it just an automatic thumbs down on the YouTube video? I'm like, that's, that's how this game's gonna be, dude. Yeah, like the, gonna be for me I right saw now. Daily Fix had a thing. Alana was talking about it, and the thumbnail was her like face palming. So yeah, there's definitely an attitude towards this game that, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I share. Where it's I want it to be good, but the little bit I saw you play at yeah. E3, I was yeah, like, yeah, that multiplayer did not do it. This for me. does not look good. And I doubt I'm gonna be like, campaign, I want to play single player. The trailer they put out, I was like, this does not look good. The idea of them doing a PUBG clone, I'm in. Give it to me. Yeah, but they're not doesn't doing that. Doesn't look like yeah. they're going to do it. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, all right, guys. Yeah. Yes, man. This whole. Oof. Oof. I wonder. Yeah. It's. I mean, the internet. Certain people on the internet never forget anything, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, it'll be interesting to see if Konami. What happens to Konami from here? Who knows? Do man. they ever do another console game after this? Do they give a shit? Does it matter how how badly your sales going to be affected? If the game came out and actually is interesting, will people play it and give it a shot? Yeah. If Konami came out with a remake of Metal Gear Solid 1 in the Fox engine. Yeah. I'd buy it. I'm just being honest. I'm being Yeah, real. no, I mean, I would definitely be interested in playing it. I mean, I, if they just put fucking Twin Snakes out, I'd buy it. Well, <laughs> you know what too. I mean? Yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah. like, I hear what you're saying, yeah. but it is just such a weird situation. It is weird. How much does, I, how much does all of this matter to the person who just knows Metal Gear's name? Do they understand all this Kojima stuff? Do they I don't know that this care? game speaks to them then. But I mean, like this game's so. But that's the thing is, like, its existence is in a time and place that it shouldn't be. 
Yeah. Like Metal Gear Survive coming out as a Left 4 Dead clone slash maybe Not kind even, of a weird. Right? Yeah, it doesn't even feel like Left like Dead. Uh, what's it called? Like the, Fortnite. Yeah, uh, I'm like base the, defense, the, base defense, like tower defense type shit. I'm like I don't know, man. Like this is not the era that this. And that's why I be. just don't understand the vision of Konami at that point. Of are we just trying to cash in? Are we trying to get one more roll out of the Metal Gear die before we leave console games? Are we? Do they really believe in this? And that's this game is going to come out and be fantastic or not fantastic, but like, do they really believe in this? And they tried their, I mean, I know the people on the team tried, but like, did they have a vision that were like, we have to make this game. This game is too cool not to make. Yeah. No one's been up front in front of the messaging saying, dude, we had to make this. We understand everything that's happened, but this is why we're doing it. Yeah. It's a normal thing. of just survive and it would have been the same sure. thing. Man. I don't know. Um, but th- speaking of metal gear, God, I love the gameplay so much. I love the controls. Of uh, Metal Gear oh, Solid yeah. Five, and that reminded me. I forgot to bring it up earlier when I was talking about Master Chief Collection, playing Halo One and Halo Two, and clicking in the stick to sprint and it not running, or hitting down the left trigger to aim down sights and it not doing it. Yeah. Like, wow! Yeah. Like I never would have thought. Like to me, Halo was the pinnacle of first person shooter yeah, controls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And man, we've come a long way. Yeah, it's still fun as fuck. Sure, but wow, it's it's just a different style. When, when you of, go for something like play. that, and it's not there. It's like wow. Yeah. How do we play this game before? Like when you try to play Goldeneye now. Uh oh well, yeah. Well, I just what? got Perfect Dark on uh, oh, nice. Xbox backwards compatibility from the Rare Replay. Yeah. Oh no. I got it. I got it from the Game Pass backwards compatibility, but it also is available in Rare Replay yeah, on yeah. Xbox One. Anyways, uh, March 13th, Devil May Cry HD collection on Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Super awesome. This is just even more evidence that DMC5 is going to happen. It wasn't announced at PSX. Like that was a rumor, right? Everyone yeah. says it was going to, and uh, that's kind of weird because the people that were leaking that are usually right. It was about, the president of Capcom. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I, I think that a lot of that had to do, if I had to guess, not knowing, I imagine that's because PSX ended up not being what anyone expected it to be, and I think that was a so interesting. Call. Like, interesting. I feel like, and again, don't know shit, totally pulling this out of my ass, but I imagine that PlayStation planned to do a press conference at PSX and all the developers like Capcom also planned on them doing that. Mm-hmm. And when they were like, oh, hey, actually, we're not doing that. It's just going to be this weird like showcase hangout with Greg Miller thing. They're like, uh, fuck that. They're like, oh, get it away from him. But yeah, I, I the imagine. Oreo the Oreo guy? No, plan. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but man, so exciting, especially Devil May Cry uh, 3. I That's one of those games that I love just going back to and playing through randomly and sure. to have it on a console available to me now is really exciting because the, the this HD collection was released on 360 and PS3 but like a lot there was so many H- PS2 trilogy HD collections like Prince of Persia Jack and Daxter Ratchet and Clank um, I miss out on a couple now Devil May Cry and stuff but uh, during that generation now they're all just gone totally a non sequitur back to the episode from two weeks ago uh-huh. I just remember chat how close we are to Shadow Colossus I was like, I want to play that. And I was like, oh, fuck, I want to play Shadow of the Colossus. Real close, because that was another game. Eco and Shadow yeah. of the Colossus was HD yeah, that's why. That's what made me think of it. Yeah, see? You, you see, oh, so, circle, many, you so many great ways. Cool Greg feels me. Uh, March 20th, Attack on Titan 2 on Windows, Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. That game, uh, you know, you kind of write it off as like, oh, a licensed thing, whatever. There was such a culture around oh, it yeah, that, I wasn't, that I wasn't aware. Well, I know Attack on Titan, but about this game. I, oh, I was unaware that like the okay. game was such a popping off thing where if you look up YouTube videos, they're insane. The things people are doing with the... What, what's the shit called, Kevin? The O... OED? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, directional, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, like, the flying around like Spider-Man and shit. And, like, you can play multiplayer with a whole bunch of different people together. And it's taking down Titans. It looks really cool. The sequel's coming out. Um, March 23rd, A Way Out on hell Windows, PS4, and Xbox yes. One. So stoked for that. Fuck That's going to be fun as hell. Yeah. Fuck the Oscars. <laughs> yeah, that game looks great. I'm really excited to actually play it and see if it all comes together and then if it's fun to replay or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Nah, man. That, that, it looks great. I love the idea. Such a novel, cool thing. And it being a shorter game is definitely right up my alley. Uh, March 27th, Far Cry 5. This is post delay. I was Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. The other day, I was sitting there, and because I went, I, this is a a let's play that never went live. I went and played mm. multiple hours of Far Cry single player at Ubisoft, and if right right before break, and the embargo lifted right before break, and my, our footage, the webcam kept slipping, the audio kept slipping, and with the time ticking down for us having to leave, I just didn't have time to troubleshoot it. Uh, 
that I mean I Far Cry in general does fun, but this one I'm super like I, I'm I, I sit there and I blade through like on my cross media bar of something I want to play but I don't know what it is. This is it, mm. and, if, and this is definitely what for me, me and Kevin being on this multiplayer kick, having him it, c- come into each other's game and do co op and shit. That's gonna be a lot of fun, especially because it's gonna be I'll just play 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 and then he'll pop on. I'm like oh I'll come to your game and help you out and come do this different shit. But taking down the barns, you know, or like the you know the cult barns or whatever, uh, driving around and all that craziness. I went into a you know uh, a gas station and was like. Looking around, it was like all blown out. It was like mainly, you know, it's a less play. So I was like exploring, seeing what this is all about. And what was it? I guess not a honey badger, but something like this game's honey badger, which I forget which animal it is. It came in and attacked me. And it was that you know, fucking like running away, shooting it. And I finally get enough that it starts running away. And I fucking tag it and I'm chasing it. And then there's people coming at me because they see me. I was like, this is fu- this is fucking fun. This yeah. is Far Cry. And it's fun, man. I, the Far Cry 4 Let's Plays we did at IGN were oh, so yeah. much fun. Dude, I'll Just never I will around. never, ever forget that one where me and Brian yeah, were playing. For, it was the first one we ever shot. And we walked, oh, here's a cave. And we walked into the cave and it was a tiger that ran out. And what the fuck? And I threw the grenade as it was growling. And, I, and and then it came running at me. And just as it went to clear the cave, the grenade went off and blew its body past our head. We were like, that's fucking amazing. Yeah. the I loved the little paraglider thing. Yeah. Like just jumping off, paragliding yeah, yeah, yeah. through the towers and stuff, blowing shit up. God. The same thing in here, right? Ridiculous. Of like, yeah, getting up in the plane and then jumping out and have, putting on the squirrel suit or whatever. I'm like, yes, just give me this game. This is... A game, I you know, um, I love America, but I love a setting that's familiar to me. Oh, yeah. So for Far Cry to come to America and give me those things, I'm like, oh, that's really cool. And then just how pretty the game is, how you know, interesting the gameplay is, because whatever you want it to be. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, I just can't fucking wait. April thirteenth, We Happy Few on Windows, <laughs> PS4, and Xbox One. Another one that felt like it's been forever. Forever. I feel like, the, and then correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, uh, the chat in the comments. I believe this is another one that was early access. Yep. And so that's the problem. I think we just this would have been a good example. I feel like for uh, kind of funny games daily this week we were talking about has early access ever heard a game and we're talking about like buzz or like the the person writing it was talking more about like sales and stuff mm. and I was talking more about buzz and I feel like that's what happened with we happy few where there was a lot of buzz about how great this game was and then it went to early access and then that, it was that weird like whoa like that's a weird gear shift and so like it's out but it doesn't have vo yet or it was something weird like that where yeah. it's out and it's like well I'll wait for the full ge- but it's so hard I feel like when, for that kind of game when the, like that's not PUBG and I'm having a different match every time when it's like okay it's not a final game but it's I, I don't know if they're gonna be able to get that buzz back that they had mm-hmm. coming off of the reveals and stuff yeah especially with no big event pushing it right around that March time right yeah. like PAX East isn't gonna do it for you or so. will it okay once well, this coming and then uh, in May we got Street Fighter 30th anniversary collection on Windows Switch PS4 and Xbox One that's great I mean it's, it's <laughs> It's so it's funny that <laughs> Good they, for you. They, they've no no seriously though, I, I'm that's great they they're gonna be arcade perfect ports of all the classic Street Fighter games sure. uh, pre Street Fighter four and it's just funny to see them fuck up Ultra Street Fighter two on uh, the, the Final Challengers on Switch, Switch so bad that to then come out with this and it's it, it's funny because it really does feel like a proof of concept thing where they're like oh hey yo people will oh still shit buy people this will buy these yeah on let's Switch, put them oh, let's, we might as well do it. Um, yeah, I mean, having all the alpha games, having all the like third strike and all that, it's it's cool. I, I love Street Fighter. Again, fighting games, fun to pop into. So yeah. uh, having them all in one place is great. I remember on the PS2, there was the, the anniversary edition that I guess was for the 20th anniversary. And that was a lot of fun. Uh, and then we know the first half of Ubisoft fiscal year 2018 to 2019, the, the Crew 2 will come out on Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. That was another one that got delayed. Get out of here with this. Yeah. Just cancel it. Favorite story about Crew 2. I don't care how many goddamn times I tell it. Go ahead. Lay it's on Nick me. Scarfito going into his appointment at E3 to play the game and asking the developer uh, that if he could invert the controls before he started playing. And they're like, what? No. And he's just like, why? <laughs> they're like, because it's, it's a You're racing, driving it's a, a fucking car. <laughs> and he was like, oh, fuck. He thought it, the crew was like a GTA style. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be third person jumping what on a around. fucking idiot. In, instead, now it's, car, it's cars and boats and planes. I love it. Yeah, I, I mean don't know. the it, crew. The crew was fun. Exactly. Maybe it'll speak to people. It just didn't speak to me. I'm, I'm sure it has an audience, and so don't cancel. I'm just joking around. Ubisoft, don't don't get I mean, all it, it's, prickly. The parent. crew was such a cool concept of you can drive from edge to edge of the United States, <laughs> and then doing it wasn't that fun. Yeah. But then once you got to pockets of it with all the cool missions and all like the jumps and stuff, like that was great. But 
I feel like there was too much padding in the game that, mm-hmm. that kind of took away the from the awesome moments. Uh, and then random games we know are coming in 2018 that do not have release dates yet. Ace Combat 7 on Windows, PS4, and Xbox PlayStation One. VR support. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the interesting factor to me where I'm like, okay. I want to get it, in the cockpit. I did it at Judges Week on a PSVR, and it felt fucking real. And it was it was definitely like I'm in the cockpit flying. I'm like looking over my shoulder trying to find him in the thing, and it's like, this is weird. And then, yeah. of course, there was the motion sickness of that. I'm trying to do yeah, that, but it's because I'm just not used to being a jet fighter pilot. You know what I mean? I got it. Trees didn't look that good either. Man, that reminds eight. me of the, the X-Wing experience in a Battlefront VR. God. I like that a lot. Yeah? That was a lot of fun. Yeah, just looking around, seeing sure. all the X-Wing shit, and be like, man, this feels so real. Uh, Anthem, we'll see. Windows, Switch. No, no Switch. Windows, Switch. No Switch. Well, Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Um, 2018, you think it's happening? I don't think that it's a guarantee that it misses it. I think I, there's a that's chance. The th- that, because yeah. I feel like there's a lot of people that are like, there's no way it makes 2018. I think with... How everything went with Mass Effect and with where Destiny's at, like waiting too long for this game's not going to be a good thing. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't. I don't have a strong feeling on that one. I could easily see it getting bumped, for sure. I could see it that yeah, maybe they're further along than we think they are. But what were the lessons they learned in Battlefront that they want to apply to this? Not yeah. that like loot crates are going to be the end of Anthem or how that was, but even when you watch Destiny now and this, like, how do you figure out? Did they have to go to the back of the drawing board for a lot of it? Do they have to worry about stuff like that? And then just where is the game as well? Yeah, I can't wait to see it again. That the first showing blew my mind. I would like to believe this. I don't though. That's where it is for me. Yeah, I, 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 in my heart wants to believe in 2018. My head says it'll be 2019. Mm. You, you're actually gonna play this one though. I am that trailer sold me okay. like that trailer was the type of thing but you're like, not the multiplayer dude but I'm like this shit looks so cool that I want to play like okay. I, I want to give it a shot even though I know it's a genre that I am not in at all okay uh, whereas destiny I'm like oh this looks like not halo sure uh, th- this I'm like oh shit like the Iron Man Iron flying Man, around know, and like right. going from the the different terrains like being in the sky and then going down through the jungle into the water I'm like wow this looks freaking fun and cool and this is why i love video games you yeah know? yeah but we'll see if they they keep up that level of polish and if that is a vertical slice of the best part of the game right you know? uh freedom planet 2 coming to windows freedom planet is the sonic mania before sonic mania <laughs> oh game. finally uh, it was one of my games of the year two years ago on uh, freedom planet one really? on the on the wii u uh, it was one of my top 10 yeah okay. the first one we did as uh, kind of funny gotcha and uh, it's just, it's great. It's a 2D platformer game. There's a, a lot of story elements and like like word bubbles. There's VO as well. Um, and it's fun. They just really, they kind of nailed the whole, hey, we're going to make Sonic 2D Sonic games good. Um, this is before Sonic Mania was announced and stuff. So uh, they've been working on the sequel for a long time. And I, I think that especially seeing Sonic Mania do as well as it did, I'm hoping that this makes its way over to the Switch because I'd love to play it there. Because I'm not going to play it on Windows. I'm going to be honest with you, Greg. Fair gonna be honest with you fear effect reinvented coming to windows switch ps4 and xbox one this is one of those i feel like you know what hey we gotta jump on retro things because everyone's doing retro things is anyone asking for a fear Man, effect? i've been waiting for another fear effect and, and there's what. multiple ones right there's there's fear effect reinvented that's like the the remake and then i thought there was also a new one announced i don't, I don't know, know that one but let me know if fear effect is literally fear I, right now like through the rolodex of games i can't even i don't know fear, fear effect is the one to me with the uh, the girls with big boobs uh, in the sold ads, me so far. very cell shaded and all the mark. I never played them. Okay. All the marketing was very. Uh, hey, bro. Look, they're they're about to make out. Whoa. Like that, that type it was of my thing. greatest fear. <laughs> um, so see fear effect, Kev. That's why I, I'm throwing it out. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Keep oh, huh. Jesus. Yeah, it's, that, it's, that definitely was a product of the time right there. Are they seeing this, Kev? No, they can't. That's broken. Switch is broken. Oh, damn it. Jesus. Well, Google well, he's, image. He's dragging, so he's dragging it over to the, here right now. Or he was. I thought he was dragging something. Oh, I was getting put behind you. Oh, okay. I mean, unless you... No, 
No, Don't do it. It's, a, li- it's a little too S and M. Look up Fear Hub. Fact if you if you want to see what I'm talking about. But anybody that was reading video game magazines during that era, yeah, you will recognize that. Definitely recognize that. We'll know. Um, Harvest Moon: Light of Hope coming to Switch and PS4. Paging Joey Noel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, there's definitely an audience for that. Jurassic World Evolution: Windows, is, PS4, and Xbox One. This that's is the Sim the Dinosaur one. Park. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, I'm interested to see what that's like. Yeah, that seemed like a. Uh, thing that only got as much buzz as it did because it came out on a very slow news day. It seems like a game that I would have announced and then released two weeks, four weeks, five weeks later, a dream daddy scenario of yeah. like when it got announced and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Now I'm still, I still don't fucking have this game. Nope. Is it trying to time it with the movie? Per, you'd imagine. Right. But yeah, there's no date yet. Uh, and then Kingdom Hearts 3, PS4 and Xbox One. I feel good about 2018. Yeah? I this really is where do. you're going to get it? I really do. And if we don't get it this year, it's like... I don't even care at this point. Like you're, we're, you're beat. We're, we're gonna get it eventually. Okay. There's been a, the the rate at which we're hearing about the game and like seeing like leaked worlds and all this stuff about it now. I'm like, it has to be near completion. It has to be ready to go. Yeah. I don't know. Nothing has to be anything. You'll find out soon enough, especially with Square. Uh, yeah, Mega Man 11, Windows, Switch, PS4, and Xbox One, along with the Mega Man X collection sure. on Windows, Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. You're also one. getting the other Mega Man l- other collections, The Legacy right? yeah, on, yeah. on Switch. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, just on Switch. Yeah. yeah. So, because oh, it's already, already out. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's cool. Great. Mega Man. People love Mega Man. I'm excited about Mega Man X collection. Yeah. Mega Man X, my favorite of the Mega Man Ooh, anything. Series. Series. Series is. There's so many of them. Yeah. Chorizo. Metro, Metro Exodus. Exodus, Windows, Switch. No, why do I have that? I think I just copied. You just and love paste Switch. It, I copy and paste it when it was everything, but it's not everything with Switch. Sure. Um, Metro Exodus on Windows, PS4, and Xbox. We One. haven't seen more than that uh, initial beautiful reveal trailer, right? or we not saw, even trailer where that you're stepping around. Or Xbox, E3, and then they also showed I, like a, the same thing again at the Xbox Gamescom conference. Gotcha. I want to say we saw it during Game Awards at some point. Not this year. Maybe. Mm. Was it last year's Game Awards and then at the E3? I don't know about that. Sounds right to me. Okay. I, I thought it was. A, I think it was Xbox that you saw a big reveal. Was, we saw a big trailer there. I don't know if that was the reveal of it, though. I'll look into it, I guess. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. Either way, uh, not for me. The game looks beautiful. <laughs> Andy was really excited about it. Andy gets excited for Vaseline right, on Do toast. you care? No. Uh no I I never played any any of the other Metro well, there's two of the other ones right Last Light and uh, for whatever the time one 2049 or some shit like that uh no just never did it for me mm. I was like all right cool do your thing Overkills The Walking Dead Shh, fucking finally on Windows PS4 and Xbox One man there's no way this game is good is there no I wish there was but I don't think there is I I'd love to be wrong I'd love to be wrong about it but no I don't see how they can do that. There was definitely the E3 announced trailer, and then yes, there was a Game Awards 2017 trailer this year. Oh, it was 2017. So it was announced okay. in E3, okay. Okay. and then there was something there. Um, no, it's just been cooking forever, and I just that doesn't strike me as a good sign. No, I hope, especially with a property like Walking Dead. That yeah, I, feel I hope I'm wrong. Has been kind of like the Walking not yeah, first on its. We haven't talked about it. Comics oh, we haven't talked about the comics at all. You, Holy shit, they're so good. Hell, the comics so good. On the last run. ten issues, I caught up on like ten issues at a time. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I caught up on the this most is the best recent it's been one. in years. It was like one of those. I finished it last night or yesterday on the plane, and I was like, "Oh fuck! Please don't tell me that most recent. Please, oh fuck! It was the most recent. Fuck! I walked right ah, into a huge cliffhanger, and it was good. It was a great so cliffhanger. Yeah, they're finally shaking things up. Oh, shake it up! Psychonauts two, Ding. Windows, PS4, Xbox One. James Willems is more stoked than any human being in the entire world. I was there. Game. Was there just news this week about Psychonauts? Oh, maybe. This list is outdated. <laughs> From right before break, not videos. All I think that I guess news would have been better. I never really played Cybernauts. Even yeah, me neither. No, 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 no. Platformer, yeah. but Polygon on no, well, not just this week, but December, whatever. Uh, Psychonauts two won't make its previously scheduled re- release window of 2018. Developer Double Fine Productions confirmed today in an update. Mm-hmm. Expect expect Raz's next adventure in 2019 at the earliest. Good lord. Okay, yeah. well, cross this one off the list. I need to. I I, I didn't play Psychonauts one either, and. It sounds like a game that's right at my alley. I really should fucking stop playing games with Kevin and go play Psychonauts. Just get in there. And then you got Rhombus a Rune on the You PS2 can do game. it on the Xbox One backwards compatibility. You can do it on PlayStation 4, PS2 Classics, and get motherfucking trophies! You could do that. 
uh, if you wanted to. Red Dead Redemption 2, PS4 and Xbox One. So where are we coming down on that, baby? It gets complicated. I think it's coming. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, well, I'm sorry. I was, sorry yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about when, though. Like, is, is that a May game? Is that a August game? No. I don't think it's August. I think it's... First half? I think it's the first half of the year. Um, well, I, I could see... Man, Red May, Dead's one of the rare games that doesn't need to give a fuck about what the first parties are doing. Because yeah. like with Sony, with the God of War and Spider-Man and you know their whole all that they got going on, most games would want to be like, oh, we're staying away from this. Not Red Dead. Red Dead no, Red Dead's, like, Rockstar's hey, not afraid When's God anyway. of War coming out? We're coming out same fuck day, you. motherfucker. No, I think... Yeah, May sounds good. Spring, like right there, April even. But like I would think right in that window. I don't think, I think can... it, we're not going to get it before March. No, no, no. So no. April or May. I think April's too early. Although. Greg Miller's birthday. This sounds to me like an E3 release game. E3 week release game. Sure. There's always one. It does feel There's like There's always that. something that fucking comes out. When but I, I, I could see that being. Batman. Arkham Knights. Sure. There was there Last was of Us. Last of Us. I could see it being Spider Man this year. The game that really comes to fuck up E3. Maybe. Make you hate your goddamn life. Maybe. Why am I fucking here? I think it's right. Why Dead. is James Stevenson Red Dead. and Insomniac fucking me over in the Spider Man game left right? First or second week of June. That's where you're putting it? That's where I'm putting okay. it. Okay. Skull and Bones. Yeah. Old old lady, old lady. On Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Cool. Enjoy it. Yeah. Was Sea of Thieves 2 kitty for you? Here's the adult version. Bye. Except you don't actually get to ride the ship. No. You are the ship. Bye. Oh, It'll, it's. I don't know. We'll I don't see. know. I, on it paper, it swim? doesn't. Oh, that's good. On paper, that is not a game I think you'd want to play. Uh, Ubisoft's been pretty great about been, making these games it? that people really want to play. Is this game going to sell stuff. well? Yeah. It's good, yeah, right? And it, it, you know, right if it doesn't sell well initially, apparently in a year it'll be one of the it, top rated games exactly. of all time, and it'll be fucking Hashtag Rainbow crazy Six ass Six. In numbers. Soul Calibur Six on Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. All the fighting fans are going to be very hyped about that. Sure. Uh, Walking Dead final season <laughs> on everything. <laughs> yeah. How's that make you feel? Good. Oh, I'm really. Ha- I think it's maybe a season or two too long of this is going to be the final season, but I'm glad they finally put a pin on it, and that means that shit's actually going to happen and matter here. Yeah. Hopefully, AJ, we kill him right away. Episode one, just boot him out of here. Zombie toddler. I don't need you anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Other than that, I mean, like, I think it's awesome. Uh, I'm I'm excited to see how they end it. I I you know I, I've loved my ride with Clem, and there's been ups and downs, obviously. Or I shouldn't even say oh, downs. There's been seasons where I'm like, oh, whatever. You know what I mean? Like this last season, I was just like, oh, new frontier. This is gonna be interesting. And I was like, oh, this is weird. I don't 100 percent like where we're at. But seasons one and two, in terms of Clem's story. We're awesome. Mm. Uh, I'm excited to see where we put, where we're gonna hang this all up and say it's the end. Wolf Among Us season two on everything. You play the first season? No, d- don't. I don't. I've, I don't like fables, the comic, mm-hmm. and so I try. I, d- I I gave. I played through episode one because obviously I like Telltale games. I like the voice at cast. I want to support friends and stuff. But it was like, oof. And then season episode two came of Wolf, and I started playing it. And I did that thing of like, I went over to McCaffrey's review. I'm like, how long is this? And he's like. Two hours or more than two. I'm like, fuck this. No, sorry. I can't do it. I never went back. Interestingly, and now this is strictly, I'm um, at the water cooler of the coffee with your good friend, Greg. This might have already changed. I don't know. Someone hit me up on Kind of Funny Games Daily in the question box that I didn't put on the show because I didn't have time to look into it. And it's just rumor and speculation. Mm. But I guess on Game Scoop, and this could just be misspeaking as it happens all the time. We do it all the time, too. They said that it was canceled. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's not something that's been announced. I don't think that's true. They went out at such a big deal of when they, like, even before the layoffs, Telltale was very much like we're focusing, right? We're doing Batman. We're doing the final season of Clem and we're doing Wolf Among Us 2. But they said that, which makes me think, oh, they just misspoke. Yeah. But it's possible they know something we don't or, you know, hmm. whatever. But just put that under your hat or keep it there. Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. Windows Switch, PS4, Xbox One. I guess there's fans out there. Go for it, Toe Jam and Earl. I was never a Toe Jam guy. No. I was a no. Genesis kid, yeah, and I, I think I had Toe Jam and Earl at one point, but I just remember the commercial. Then being, With Toe Jam and Earl, Genesis, Genesis, got to get Genesis. Here we go, Greg. Valkyria Chronicles 4. Motherfucking hell, yes. Can yeah. you goddamn believe it? 
No. Can you fucking believe it? It's back. It's back to what it should be. It's on PlayStation 4. Fuck yes, fuck yes, fuck yes, fuck yes. I still, I was telling you before break that I had that inkling of, I should fucking play Valkyria Chronicles. And I haven't started it up yet, but the the ember of that fire is still there that I should get back to it. Mm. But then also, I'm just full of shit all the time and talk about games I should play and I never do. I don't even know what Kevin said. No, huh? Heard, huh? Wargroove is next up on Windows, Switch, and Xbox One. What the didn't fuck is realize, Wargroove? Didn't realize this was not a Switch exclusive. Wargroove is the Advanced Wars game. Huh. Yeah. People did call you out, though. The game that I was talking about, that thing, was an Advanced Wars clone as well. That's out now. It's, well, I, but I knew the one you were talking about was Wargroove. Okay. So, I was right. That's really all Damn, that matters. 2018, Tim ain't taking your shit anymore. I ain't taking any of his shit. Look back at my injury. Except Kevin. I'm a changed man. Uh, so now we get into Battlefield eight, or 2018 and Call of Duty 2018. The rumors right now being Bad Company 3 for Battlefield okay. and Black Ops 4 for Call of Duty. That checks out, right? Yeah. Because it was... Uh, this is always the hardest fucking part of this job. I don't even the, play this Black game. Ops is Treyarch, right? <laughs> and so, yeah, Sledge was there and Infinity... Sledge just did World War II and then Infinity War just did the Infinity one. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So yeah, that makes sense. That's, yeah, you're gonna stay in your wheelhouse. So there you go. Go for it. Cool. I, don't, I can't tell. People I can't, will be happy. I can't tell you anything about Battlefield. I don't know. Yeah, what, what that's gonna be. Bad Company. Mm, Good I for them. Know. Never played them. Yeah. People like Bad Company though. I know that. But yeah, I think at one point they did. Did they still? I don't. It all know. just runs together. Let us know in the comments. It all just runs together. And then the the last couple things are just some questions, Greg. Lay it on me. Telltale. Besides the things we know about, do you think that they're working on anything else, or are they committing to? Hey, we should just focus right now. I mean, I'm sure they're pre-pro on some the next few things or ideas or where they want to go. But I would think that no, they are. Do you very, think we see anything? Any new announcements in 2018? Yeah, of course. I think that's just how they work. You figure what we're about. They just announced the release date for episode four of Batman, so they still have one more in the in the chamber for that. But once that's closed down, you have people who can have mind share to think about the next thing. Uh, Walking Dead. Has got to be coming at some point soon. Another one? Oh, the final season. Got it. Yeah. yeah so yeah, like yeah. when that starts, you figure once it starts, they have what ten months of that game coming out. We'll say mm-hmm. if that. Sometimes they're better than that. Sometimes they aren't. Uh, and then whatever's gonna happen with Wolf. But I feel like towards the back half of that year, even maybe even a three, you've got to have your tease of what you're doing next or how you're gonna do it. And plus, I'm sure they. You figure right now, knock on wood, they're all so they're working on not the new engine, but using or what do they say in their press release when they scaled back and laid people off that they were going to like focus on using established tech rather than their mm-hmm. own. I'm mm-hmm. sure people are learning that. Maybe you want to get together a cool trailer or something. Maybe it is just Wolf and hey, this is what we're doing. We're using that or maybe even Walking Dead. I don't know, but it'll be interesting to see. They will announce something. Yes, by the end of the year that, hey, we have a new game or a new IP. Then there's Ubisoft. So the crew got delayed, Far Cry got delayed, uh, and one other Ubisoft franchise game, which has not yet been revealed, has been moved to fiscal year 2019-2020. So. What do you think that is? I don't know. I feel like we are due for Division. Oh, we are due division? to hear some Division news. I think that that's... Uh, I love Division, the original, obviously. Uh, I think as a member of that red, subreddit community, watching people get turned around on it to like where they are now, how great it is with the latest patch and stuff, I feel like they're riding a wave of good thing and uh, goodwill. And I just feel like they've learned a lot. And I feel like, whoa, what, it would have been 2015 the Division came out, right? Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we're due at least to get a Division 2 trailer or something at E3 of like, hey, we're doing the division again. What's wrong? You doubting the 2015? 2015. I think it, was, it must. It must have been 2016. Yeah, I mean, 2015. I planned it in one. 2017, but I felt like I had taken a lot. Yeah, of time I off. think it was. It was early 2016 that it came out. Division release date. Oh God damn it! Not the patch release date. March. Yeah, March tw- March eighth, 2016. You're correct. Um, I feel like we're due for something on that. Even if it is just, hey, here's the trailer. We'll talk. It'll be next year. Mm-hmm. I feel like, th- and that could then be the one that's been delayed. That's yeah. got pushed back. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I want it to be Prince of Persia because I want another Prince of Persia really bad. I just, I don't know that it, we're ever going to get it. But th- with that type of franchise, it's definitely been long enough. And yeah. like, but Assassin's Creed's always eating into it, right? I, I get that, but you jump Prince you're... Prince of Persia is a name, right? Yeah. Like, that's something that Chrissy Teigen knows. Uh, we got to give her what she wants, and I want it too. So that'd be really nice. And when uh, your interests line up with Chrissy Teigen's interest, you know you're in a good spot. Yeah, I'm yeah. hot. Uh, Bethesda. What are they going to do this year? Great question, question one. Do they have any three showcase this year? Yeah. 
I think I think they do. I think Bethesda. I didn't think they'd have one this year. Yeah, and they proved me wrong and had a whole bunch of shit to me when I think you talked to Pete about it and who speaks for him obviously. And I feel like they hold themselves in that regard of a Ubisoft of a EA. Uh, you know that they are here and they're not going to give up that spot and they've worked their way up the mountain to be viewed this way and they're going to do it. What is there? Is a great question. That's a big question. I mean, I feel like going into last year, the question of will they or won't they do it really came down to, well, there's nothing huge. There's no fallout. Like, there's no big, giant thing that we don't already know. Right. So it was just a lot of things we already knew with maybe a little bit more information here or there. Now, all those games are out. So it's all blank slate. Like, there's not really any announcements. The, correct me if I'm wrong. The only Bethesda games that we're waiting on now uh, is Wolfenstein on Switch. Right. Because they just did Skyrim everywhere, right? The but then that's the question, out, right? Is all the it big time? Ones came out. You know, are they? Is it Elder Scrolls Six time? Yeah. Is it time to just drop a again a trailer for that? A mm-hmm. first look at that. What is that? What has that team been doing? You know what I mean? What's Todd Howard got up his sleeve? But again, Fallout Four was a big game. Like I think a lot of you know it takes a lot of time to do those to work on those. And the fact there haven't been more rumors of what's happening. Usually that's how we all hear about this stuff, right? Yeah. Um, I feel though. And not in a hubris sense. I think that Bethesda feels that's that's their that Sunday night is their night now, and they don't want to give that up. And I don't think they'd force it. So I think that they do have things we just don't know about, and it could be maybe a more low key thing, right? And I, I mean, those are the kind of things of you. If it, you can piece it together, right? If what if it would be okay? So it's Doom Two, a teaser trailer for whatever the next Elder Scrolls is, um, and even we they talked about it before we've talked about on this show right the uh morrowind or whatever right mm-hmm. like doing a, some kind of special edition mm-hmm. of that or whatever um or remaster i should say uh whatever happens in whatever mobile thing they're doing uh the latest update to elder scrolls online i'm sure they're gonna have some big expansion pass there right like there'd be all this different stuff um i think they're you know it's marketing messaging obviously at the game awards but like hey we're the single player guys single player gaming isn't dead i think they don't want to lose that either i think so yeah. even with doom even with a, a giant open world rpg tease something else in that vein something else that's a prey like game yeah not not no, prey yeah yeah okay 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 yeah but something like that yeah yeah, yeah yeah i think i think they will i think it'll be quality over quantity it'll probably be shorter not as many titles but i think they'd be there i think they'll do something hmm rock steady what the fuck are you people doing over there? They're, hitting, they're, they're having milestone lunches. Rocksteady, they try to tell me it's every Friday or whatever of the month. I don't believe it. Them and Retro are the two that I'm like, I, I'm shocked we haven't heard anything from them. Yeah. It's, it, it's crazy. And I understand that with Retro, there is a lot of hullabaloo of the switch over from Wii U and Switch and all that. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's Rocksteady is the one where I'm like, man, it's been years now since Arkham Knight. We haven't even heard what's next. Yeah. So, which oh, they were working on the VR or they did the VR thing. So. Yeah, yeah, but even that, I don't think it was the full team. Probably. Yeah. Um, it's somewhat annoying, but then also so awesome and fascinating and interesting. And I, I really feel that they're going to come at us with something not completely different. I wouldn't be surprised. Like we've said before, the rumors are always that it's going to be that weird Damian Wayne Batman game or whatever. Uh, I hope it's not. I, I hope maybe this is a sign of them being like, yeah, it's not the right direction. Ball it up and start over and do something different. But I hope they come at us with something that isn't Batman, but is DC or is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or whatever franchise that needs a great video game. And it is look at the world we fleshed out and all the Easter eggs and all the story and all the love. Cause that's yeah. when you play those games, that's what it's all about. Right. All the love poured in those games. The Do you think games. it's E3? I Do you fucking think it's hope E3? so. I'd hope it's E3, but geez, I don't know. Um, I think it's E3 and I think it's on one of the big two stages. Here's the thing that's interesting about it. And Greg said this with just rough. WB is never afraid to make an event out of GDC. Often when I saw Arkham Knight for the first time, it was GDC. And I think that was when they were announcing it or it had just announced Mm -hmm. it like the game before cover happened and happened. So it could be another one of those where, hey, GDC is coming up. Let's get an appointment, go there and Rock City comes out and shows you something. And then there's a bigger reveal at E3. I think that. In the past, it seemed like WB likes using GDC in that way because I think that's where they showed. Or, no, no, Injustice was Judges Week, the first time I ever saw Injustice. Um, but they use GDC initially. But I, again, that's Arkham Knight that I'm recalling. So it's not like it. They, yeah, who, yeah. they don't need to sell you as hard on that. I, I think it's debuted at E3 on either Sony or Microsoft stage. I hope so. That'd be awesome. 
And then the final thing I have is Borderlands 3. Is it happening in 2018? Happened as in released? Mm -hmm. No. Happened as in, hey, we've been working on Borderlands 3. Let's take a look. Yes. I think you'll get that. Because how long we had just left IGN. We were still at IGN when they put out that thing of like, we want you on the team. We're yeah. working on Borderlands 3. You'd imagine they've come far enough in that time that they have something they are ready to show in some. I mean, you're, I mean I'm kind of shocked. It's not ready to go in 2018 if that's the case sure but i think well when you're out there looking for a team like they said they were it True. makes me okay. think you're yeah. trying to fill a lot of gaps and i, I know there's been turnover at gearbox mm -hmm. not in a like bad way but just in the normal way Life. where it's like yeah like anthony birch is still there and stuff like that they lost andrew goldfarb who i really think was the glue to all these bringing it all together. all of these gearbox games yeah mm. but yeah i think we see it i don't think it's released hmm. okay because that strikes me as a good i'm sorry i'm gonna keep talking that strikes me as a good spring game like if that was yeah, if that was definitely. coming out like right now, even or next month, you'd be like, "Fuck me and Kevin and you are we're playing we Borderlands." Whereas if it's like, "Hey, we're announcing it right around E3 and then trying to put it on the fall," it's gonna be like, "Well, no, I want to play a million other There's things." There's a lot of other stuff yeah. going on. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been kind of funny games cast. Let us know in the comments below what Microsoft games we missed, what third party games we missed. Next week we will be doing Nintendo, and then the predictions will be behind us as we move forward into the year of 2018. Thank you very much for joining us. It's been a lovely ride. Until next week, I love you. I love you. Hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, click here to subscribe to Kind of Funny Games. Click there to subscribe to Kind of Funny. You see a whole bunch of cool Marvel shows and stuff. Click there to support us on Patreon and click right here. Mystery fun bag. I don't even know. Click it, you son of a bitch!